What up, 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 everybody. We're going to talk about some things today. We're going to go ahead on down that road, the road that most people are scared of. So, hey, I'm telling y'all now, this road is not for everybody. So while we get ready for the countdown, we're going to hit that jump and we're going to hit it hard. All right. Peace. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Yo, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Some real stuff that we're going to talk about today. So without further ado, what drove me to talk about this topic? And the topic is, is it true that men want one thing and women don't or vice versa? The conversation that need to be held within a community. And here's the reason why. My homegirl went live. She's a well-established uh, entrepreneur, business owner. She used to strip. She left the stripping life to open up her own salon and eye place and facial. I get my facials done every week. So listen to what she have to say. Let's go. My all we offer is vagina. All y'all offer is sex. And fellas, all y'all offer is sex. Y'all come to our house and have sex with us in our house. We go take care of our business, pay our own bills, and y'all think y'all do something for us, y'all deserve sex. What are, what are you offering? And y'all fellas get mad at us, tell my all we offer is vagina. All y'all offer is sex. And fellas, we'll play it again. Tell my all we offer is vagina. All y'all offer is sex. And fellas, all y'all offer is sex. Y'all come to our house and have sex with us in our house. We go take care of our business, pay our own bills, and y'all think y'all do something for us, y'all deserve sex. What are, what are you offering? And y'all fellas get mad at us, tell my all we offer is vagina. All y'all offer is sex. And fellas, tell my all we offer is vagina. All y'all offer is sex. And fellas, all y'all offer is sex. Y'all come to our house and have sex with us in our house. We go take care of our business, pay our own bills, and y'all think y'all do something for us, y'all deserve sex. What are, what are you offering? And y'all fellas get mad at us, tell my all we offer is vagina. All y'all offer is sex. And fellas, tell my all we offer is vagina. All y'all offer is sex. And fellas, all y'all offer is sex. Y'all come to our house and have All right. So now that that's in play, you know, she say that's all fellas offer is sex. Okay. So in the background, I have another one of my homies. She's single. She's one of the hottest uh, up and coming rappers in Atlanta. But she's not known for rapping. 
she's known for a body. Um, her name is Bad Barbie. Um, and what I'm puzzled about is women say fellas, and y'all heard her. She said, fellas, that's all y'all offer us is sex. Y'all come to our house and have sex. I got a problem with that. Because, and this is not one-sided. This goes both ways. Um, yes, I don't expect my count to be high today because I'm not talking about drama. I'm talking about real-life situations. And I'm going to tie this into the R. Kelly situation. Couldn't nobody do it, but Dana can. So, hey, Fantasia. Hey, Dream Team. Hey, old Cove. Y'all go ahead and like, share, subscribe, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Um, we going to talk about some things. And yes. Okay, Google, stop. We going to talk about some things. And yes, I will be opening up the chat line and the phone line because this is a conversation that need to be had within the community shout out to my big bro curtis pope another successful entrepreneur but man man i look up to him i'm telling you he he been doing it for a while showing you how, how to get it shout out to curtis um over on facebook land so i'm going to say this Men, the reason why I'm so harsh on men, because when a stereotype like this come out, the real men can stand, take a step back and say, we are not the ones that y'all are choosing. Y'all choosing the Lord niggas, but that's going to drink Lord Ray Ray and Pookie juices that don't want to work, that want to stay home and play the PlayStation 5 that you bought for your son that cost $722. And this cat ain't bringing nothing to the table except for some good wood. I'm not going to say the other thing because I'm on other platforms except for some good wood. Well, we can go vice versa. And if I have any women that will actually stand up, they, 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 they will attest to this. Well, you got people like Bad Bobby. That's in my background. I'm going to tell you. She got a nice little, she got, but well, no, ain't nothing little about that. She got, you know what I mean? She got booty, all that. But she flashes it. And she's so, and she's so, and she show herself in a way that's provocative to that when a man see you, if that's all he's seeing is you showing your booty, you got on tight clothes, you talking a certain way, you busting it. What, sis, what's going on? And you might need to get on this panel, Brooke. You, and you busting it, you breaking it down, and you doing this and doing that. How can a real man respect you other than to think she only wants sex? And I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. But when you got songs that say you got to use what you got to get what you want. Right. And then you got songs like. On this side. Uh, Splackavelli. That song. Pettyville. Hey, what's up, sis? When when you got songs like talking about I want to flip it and rub it up and drop it down and all that, hey, the first thing that comes to mind is when I meet this woman, I'm thinking she wants sex. So therefore, sex became one of the most highest prior to our selling tool to the younger community. So what do you see from that? Teen pregnancy on the rise. Parent, parent playing hood going crazy. But you see communities and homes broken 
because you'll see a female bringing in a baby, but she don't know who her baby is, who her baby daddy is. Well, I beg to differ. I'm going to say this. Any female that gets pregnant by a guy, she know exactly who her baby daddy is. The problem is she don't want you to know who her baby daddy is, and she don't want her family to know because then it will become a letdown because of the standards that her family put out there. So I guess, is it fair to get on the internet looking like bad Bobby behind me and saying things like that behind me, but then say, I'm lonely. I want somebody to be about me and expect that person to be serious. I need y'all feedback today. So I'm going to put this link in the chat and I want real talk. No cussing. No cussing. Um, I just want people to be real and to be honest about some things because if you can be transparent and you can be real, then things can get accomplished in the community that I believe. Because I believe now we can't sugarcoat nothing no more. We got to get to the point where things got to be a priority. Hey, how you doing, Big Baby Now? How you doing? Carrie, Steven, hey. My whole thing is, again, I'm going to show it a little bit. Hold on. Let, 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 me, let me go here. Here we go. This is Bad Barbie. And she says she's single, but these are the pictures that are being prioritized. Take a look at the screen. So sex sells, but anywho, even though sex sells, you, you cannot say, oh, I'm single. I want that one person to be about me. How do you want that one person to be about you when you're not about you? Hey, Brooke, I get it. If you don't enable in your camera, it's not going to show you. It's just going pe people just going to hear you. You can't hear me. Yeah, I can hear you, but I'm just telling. I'm letting you know. I know. If, uh, okay. I know how to work that. Mm. Yeah. So um, so basically, it's like, how do we cure the whole thing of? See, see, Fat Boy even said it. She can get my check. <laughs> I mean, how do we cure the fact of not prioritizing sex first before you get to know a person and before a relationship? How do you do that when all you see is booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere? How do you do it? Shout out to Malik. But how do you do it? Can somebody tell me? I mean, I can I can kind of give you a little bit. See, we from a different era. So the most that we've seen of booty when we was growing up was two live crew. So like we really didn't see a bunch of booty, booty, booty up until this this new era then popped up here. OK, that's number one. Um, the most, like I said, we've seen or at least I'll speak for myself. Uh a little provocative, show a little cleavage, but for the most part, that was it. We wasn't showing our butts. We wasn't walking around with thongs and a tank top on and saying this is the whole outfit or walking around with a net wrapped around us with no bra and no panties on saying that this was an outfit. Number one, most of our fathers would say, uh, get your mother, get your booty up in here and change your clothes. You know what I mean? 
So it's either someone who would have been over top of us, like, uh-uh, you're not wearing it outside. Let's go change your clothes. But for some reason or another, once the 2000s and the early 2000s, going into mid-2000s came in, it seems it's just like body over exploitation just took over. Everywhere is but, 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 S, 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 S. I mean, it's just everywhere. It don't even matter where it's at. You can literally type something in on YouTube and a butter pop up. A butter pop up. Um, do I agree with it? No. Do I disagree with it? No. So it's all to its own and not to mention it's all about the person to which they want. I'm at an age right now where sex is not a priority for me. So I'm not really looking for my back to be banged out. You know what I mean? Like I'm looking for and what I got is companionship. So my sex with my partner is awesome because of our companionship. So it, it's a lot to this. It's, it's a like people and women need to know what they want. A lot of times you got women who will accept anything all because it's either money that's there or because a person will pay for this, a person pay for that. And they're not understanding and even knowing what they like as a woman. They're not even knowing what makes them feel good as a woman. They're dealing with men who may got two inch penises. And only deal with the man with the two inch penises because the man is taking care of them. They're not even happy. I'm just saying you say no cussing, so I'm keeping it, I, I'm keeping it uh, on that I, level. I well, I'm gonna go here. Um, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say this. When I was coming up, because we was coming up, uh, <laughs> and Malik said you you played the hand you was dealt in my day. This generation are microwave kids, instant gratification. That's mm -hmm. true. I agree. Because I'm going to go here. When I was coming up, um, I did look at two live crew. I did look at NWA. I did look at, um, 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 I'm missing a group. Anyway, I come back to it. But my number one video was the MC Hammer pumps in the bumps. Because I used to look at the girl that was all around, but it had the thongs on. So, so, I, so I understand the guys that's like, yo, she fat. Let's do this. Let's do that. But also, I can remember, I can remember coming out the house, walking down the block, and one of my homeboy's sisters would come out with something a little short. At that time, they were called Daisy Dukes. And my homeboy what, what, wasn't around, so all of his friends would be like, oh, H-Nah, take your butt back in the house and change your clothes. But now, and you don't have that. You have the brother, and you got the brother's sister coming outside and 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 a fishnet and see-through stuff. And instead of the homeboys checking her because he's not around or he might be at work, they all trying to get up in her. So the thing is, where do we draw this line at and say, yo, stop feeding our kids this BS. Let them be kids. Don't let them grow up too early because I ain't going to lie to you. If I sit back and say a vagina is the worst thing in the world, I'd be lying because that was the beautiful thing that I could have ever experienced, even though I got it at an early age. I was told that I was sexually assaulted. No, it felt good. I, I, I'm not going to run with that. And you ain't going to tell me I was sexually assaulted just because that lady was much older than me. It felt good. Whenever you're being assaulted, it don't hurt. I mean... I'm sorry. Whenever you're being assaulted, that hurt. But when you're not being assaulted, it don't hurt. So you can't tell me something that feels good is supposed to hurt me. See. See, see, see what I'm saying now? It's a whole, it's a whole breakdown of wordplay. Um, I'm gonna get to some of these questions. Uh, I mean, some some of these. And replies, Fat Boy Music said, Dana, no cap, marriage is high class tricking. Whoa. If I'm 
if I'm going to take care of a woman, I might as well pay for what I want. I'm address that. For people that say that they in a relationship oh, oh, or that say they a bachelor and they don't pay for nothing, they lying. The women pay for the penis and the man pay for the vagina. The problem of the breakdown is you're not looking at it as you're paying for it because then it's going to make you feel like you are tricking. But you're okay. technically paying for it because when she want her nails done, you come out your pocket and pay for it. When she want her hair done, you either go half or you come out your pocket and pay for it. When you want your hair cut, she come out her pocket and pay for it. When you want them new Jordans that came out, Shout out to, to, to my uh, big brother back in Baltimore, Fat Apple. When you want them silver and black Jordans that came out that cost $334 for a male for that wear over the size of a six shoe, guess what? She paying for what you got. The problem that we have in the community is once we get it enough and we get comfortable, we become to say, that's mine. I own that. But you don't. You're really renting because you're paying for it. And at, and, at if, and at any given time, if y'all never said I do and legally put it on paper, you can walk away. She can walk away. And guess what? Your investment is gone down the drain. Yep. I think I think we can go back to the origin of this. And I, I'm going to give you the origin of the whole concept. Hey, Malik, why you ain't just jump on, man? I got everybody over here. I'm going to um, say it this way. <laughs> Golly. And, and people don't understand. In order to understand the life, you had to live the life. I Hold on for a second, Malik. Hold on, hold on. Now I have Brooke. I have Malik. And I have Brenton that's on the platform. So, so y'all going to hear different voices. All right, yeah, hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead, okay. Malik. I'm sorry. You know, Brent, listen, at, in order to understand the life, you had to live the life. Mm -hmm. So with the life came a lot of perks. Okay. You know, and you said no cursing, so I'm going to try right. to my best heavy D joint right quick. Right, because I'm monetized over here, so I can't curse over here. I'm I, I, need, I need everybody to understand Two simple things. Mm -hmm. Everything you do as a male, you do for the opposite sex. Mm. Everything you do, you either do for the opposite sex or your children. Mm. I'll let everybody go and put their heads together and test me. And I'm telling you, as a male, everything we do is for our seeds or the opposite sex. Oh, man. The reason why you want to dress fly? It's for the opposite sex. The reason why you got that three hundred dollar bottle of Creed in your closet, it's for the opposite sex. The reason why when I don't got two bottles of that Sauvage pre-ordered before you can hit it, it's for the opposite sex. The reason why I probably got fifty thousand dollars for clothes in my closet, it's for the opposite sex. Okay. The reason why I went in my first Rolex was for the opposite sex. Okay. The reason why uh, I hustled I I hustled was for the opposite sex. Okay. And that and that baby girl, I don't have a baby girl, but you you playing unfair with that Britain and that picture. But that's <laughs> another reason why you do what you do. Hold on, hold on. Not, can I just can I ask you something? Because I, I, I disagree with all that because I don't do everything for the opposite sex. Some stuff I just like. You know what I'm saying? And I do it for myself because I really don't look for approval from a, a female like that. So if Cause I was raised, like I said, you in a different era. I was raised different. So we, mom, like even as a kid, my mom never taught us to look for, you know, that gratification from other people. You know what I'm saying? It came from within. That's why I do what I want and live how I want because I try to make myself happy. Okay. Now, wait, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let, let me say it this way. And, and no disrespect with this. Take your values out and actually live a day in the life of somebody whose system is different. See, what we did back in the 90s, you can't do now for one big reason. There is no 
loyalty and that doggone show ain't no respect. Oh, can I say something to you about that? See, we I know one though. We like I was raised like no, <laughs> I was taught nobody really loyal to you. Even when it come down to certain, even with your woman or whatever, she can flip on you at any time. So who I'm loyal to, I'm loyal to my kids and I'm loyal to my, you know, my mother and stuff and people like that. But I'm not loyal, like I'm loyal to my woman, but I know feelings change, man. People change, feelings change all the time, bro. So once they betray, it's like part of, it's a part of the game. You should know it. You should, it should be expected now. Well, me. see, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about a betrayal. See, you, you got to remember, I think you like 30, right? Yeah. It's, it's a 17 year gap between me and you. Yeah, y'all was ready to we had some different stuff going on. Like y'all, like I still have well, like, have more saying, stuff, but you had to live the times. If you actually got to live the times, you okay, case in point, and, and without cussing. So rewinding the time, me pulling out a knot of cash, no homo is the equivalent of a penis pick. Me, back pulling day, right? and that, me pulling up in that bug eye bends is the equivalent of a penis pick. See, you did it totally different back then because of the time and culture. You couldn't pull your manhood out on a female back then. That was that was totally disrespectful. Totally. Or for forbid you dated a chick and she gave you fellatio. And you said something, our brother and them was gonna punch you in your mouth. But, but see, hey Malik, but the thing about it, you right. Like it, yeah, like I said, I know there's a difference in time. Because in my time, you got the woman, they grabbing on your meat, you know what I'm saying? They doing all kind of shit to you know, they like you know how like you say you ran out of water money. Now they got, you know what I'm saying? Most now in today's time, women making a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? And it just it, like everything is different, man. And I'm one of those people, like I said, I I know it was different back then, but when you adjust to it, like I said, I just appreciate it for what it is because some people, like we live, you can always fantasize about the past and stuff, but in today's time, man, like it's like, these women out here getting it, man, and they move a different, like the picture Dana showing, they all doing it, man. If you go through your female, most of these female phones today, they done got, they got porno flicks, they got new pics, they got dudes sending them their penis pics, you know what I'm saying? All kind of stuff running through their phone. And they extra aggressive in today's time. They're not like it was back in the day. So question. So question. Here, here's my question. In between the 90s and the 2000s, where did the disconnect come in to where everything was overtly okay to do a full 360 and go, uh, should I say, porno America? Yeah. Because women got taught of being called W's. Nope, that's not true. S's. No, that's not it. That's not why I'm going to leave. That's not why. Okay, hold okay. Say your question back to me one more time. So, and then let me give my rebuttal. So, so from, from the era of the 90s to the 2000s, where did the disconnect come in that? to where the United States of America became porno America. You want me to answer? You going? Because I can answer. Because of the disconnect. No. The value system changed. Not just that, though. Also because um, like, of the time changing. The internet, yeah. period. No. People, yeah. started getting, it, people started getting more attention when they started realizing, but let me show a little bit of cleavage. Ooh. Everybody started saying, oh, girl, you got a nice set of boobs. Oh, well, let me try to show a little bit of ass. Oh, oh. And when you get attention, everybody else jumps on board. And boom, it's, before you know it, it's a fad. It's it's the value system. And I'm going to say it. Hey, part of it hey, hold, on, hold, hold on, y'all. I'm going to say this. Fantasia has joined the panel. Hey, hey um, Malik. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, all I was trying to tell you, bro, was this. I mean, Dana and everybody. In between the night, like, for like when I was a kid, the internet wasn't cracking until about the 2000s, right? Everything became easily. They already were doing it, but it was low-key. You didn't see it as much. It got more accessible in the 2000s, and it got it's even more accessible now. Look, anything you want, you can pick up from the droppable phone. You understand? Using the internet. 
So when you don't have nothing to, like you said, to work for or to strive for, bro, why even go through the heartache when you know you can just get it in a couple of minutes off the phone? You ain't got to strive for nothing. Okay. Wow. You're, you're right in that aspect. That's why I said that this generation is microwave kids. But let, let me, let me, um, Sha Glizzy had a song. Mm-hmm. And in the song, the song say, Hey, Lil B, is you or no? Nah? Hey, Lil, tr- is you no or no? Nah? And to, to me, the song was catchy. It was very disrespectful, but it was see, it was also true because a lot of women now they put their bi in the street. That's right. that's that's their calling card, so to speak. See, that's why I said the times has changed, and and now they have flipped the script, and what used to be shined upon is now glorified. But it's also, hey, Malik, it's also when you uh, think about it, America was more conservative back in the 80s, right? In the 90s, it started getting more and more. And even with certain things, bro, you, if you think about everything through, it just, it was already trending that way. Cause think, like, if you go back to the 60s, women were different. You know what I'm saying? 70s, they were different. 80s, they were different. 90s, they were different. And 2000, you know what I'm saying? The 70s. And it's like everybody's getting more liberal and touch. Like everybody, it's like pretty much it's more freer to do whatever man and well some people don't some people don't do it because some people you know they, they raise different you know what i'm saying and they raise up in a different way but most people man they they pretty much know what they want to leave and and it's just it's just a sign of times because then now like i told you it's just easy accessible you can't you can't really stop it now Can I, you you to... I hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Get my statement i go it's ahead bro. Not really long. it's gonna be go real quick so another thing to piggyback on what everybody is saying, because I agree with everyone. Also, back when, uh, what was it, right after the crack era, you had a lot of babies having babies. You have a lot of people right now, and I'm one of them, right? I'm not a crack baby, but I had my son, my oldest son, at an early age. I was 16 when I was pregnant with him. So at the end of the day, it's like a child was raising a child. I had to grow up real fast, right? But you got a lot of people who are literally doing that, but they weren't playing mama role. So they literally see what was going on and they're not even able to, to teach their children what to do, what not to do, right for wrong, all because of the timing of what, you know, how age this it is. Carter was, is being raised different than Jason in a sense of age-wise. I'm older now. So a lot of stuff that I was doing back then when I was 16, I'm not doing as a grown 31 year, 32 year old adult. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Okay. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this real quick. Shout out to Mama Murray. Mama Murray is in the building. Mama Murray said, Hello, Dana J. Love this topic. There is only two things that makes the world go round: money and sex. It doesn't matter what perspective it is put in. Hello, Marge, chat, and everyone. Wow. Where's Mama Murray? I told that's you that. Fact. 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 Well, let's go fact. ahead and tackle that. Then. But let's tackle that. And because if money and sex makes the world go around, right? Do that mean that we need to subject our teens, our preteens, our before preteens to adult situations, which is money and sex? No. What, no. what it is, and I I think me and you touched on this before, Dana. Okay. You gotta be mindful of whom your audience is. Right. Like, and I think I've said it to Fat Boy before, and like EJ, those are two young men who have a broad vision. They're right. open minded, they're grounded, they're value based, and, and that's rare. So when I get a chance to rap with him, I think it's, it's honorable because he's not gonna have. And pardon my French, because somebody going to take this and said I tried to call a man dumb, a dumb conversation. His conversation is going to hold some weight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, if, if we sit back, or as you try to alter, because it's, 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 it's way down the road now, you figure in a minute, you're going to have Carter generation out here either doing willy-nilly, willy-nilly, 
or they gonna kind of revert back to the Motown era in a sense. They gonna kind of switch up the whole game. Cause every so many years you have a switch in the dynamic of the uh, children that's coming up. History has a tendency of repeating itself. Okay. So we we gotta kind of look at two things. The the trauma that women have went through as children in order to get them to accept it as adults, meaning how many times was she called to be and why does she feel like that's her name now? Because the, 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 the pendulum has switched. Things that should be shined upon are glorified. Girl, you know, he called me this. And the most number one thing is when the man hits a woman. Girl, you know, he went upside my head last night, but he loved me still. And, and I'm not trying to say it in a joking manner, but honest and true, you have a history of that. Because truth be told, a man don't wake up and just put his hands on the woman for the first time. He didn't did that one before. Right. And the female ain't wake up and just got hit. She didn't been hit before. Somewhere within that, she found some kind of comfort and she never expressed it or out of extra fear to someone. Hey, Malik, Malik, that like what you just said, is that it's actually true? Because I went through a situation like that with a lady. She kept trying to get me to beat her and I never would hit her. You know what I'm saying? And every day she'll try to, you know what I'm saying? You know somebody antagonizing you every day. They try to you have a fight every day. And that was a that's how I guess she was getting beat on before. That's how she thought she was supposed to be loved, man. And I was like, I couldn't do it because I ain't going to jail for no female. But you know, they that's what they that's how someone thinks somebody loves them, putting their hands on them, cussing well, them out, downing them and all kind of stuff. And there's a lot of females like that who used to, I guess, that kind of love or whatever, but I don't think that's love, man. Well, I had that same situation, but I had a female tell me she ain't think I love her unless I put my hands on her. I told her, nah, I'm gone. That's crazy. That's real crazy. Well, See, the way I grew up... I Fantasia grew up, in the building. Here we go. <laughs> well, the way... Can y'all hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I was born in 1991, so still 90s baby era. But the way I was, I grew up or whatever, as far as from my parents' teachings, they were very, very old school, like listening to Marvin Gaye, Gladys Knight and the Pimps, um, okay. Whitney Houston, stuff like that. We wasn't allowed to listen to rap music and stuff like that. The booty shaking, uh, pants falling off, shirt halfway up. Nope. My parents, they was not accepting that at all, especially due to the okay. fact of, you know, the, the neighborhood that I lived in. We had to go to school in groups because if you didn't, nine times out of 10, you're going to get snatched. You're going to get raped, all type of stuff in the, the area that I grew up in. I grew up in Brightmore area, but I'm not from um, Brightmore area. I'm I actually am born from New York, Brooklyn, and so is my mother. So my mother, she didn't play a lot of that stuff that these women are doing now you know with all that booty shaking and stuff no when I was younger we literally put on talent shows for our family when they would come into town and stuff and we would you know sing like Whitney Houston songs and just songs that you could actually relate to that was old school songs all this new stuff that's going on I have a daughter I would not let my daughter listen to it if I'm listening to it or whatever I'm listening to it in my car by myself I try to control most of the stuff that my children hear and stuff like that. But of course, like Brooke said in a um, previous statement before, you can't control everything, but the majority of the stuff that you can't control, just try to control it and form it into something positive. Now, when it comes to the, the lady that's behind you, I would actually like to see her full video so I can see exactly what all she's trying to go for, what she wants. Like, I need to see her full side before I could just actually see Well, her. this here... This here is a compilation of videos but that she put together, um, but that she have on her page. However, uh, Ghetto Barbie is, she's an up and coming rapper, but a lot of people know her for her body and her whole crew. Um, um, her crew is the uh, Jessica Dime and um, uh, um, uh, Johnny Blaze. That's a whole crew for the whole stripper crew. Um, but and Johnny Blaze, they both retired. They don't even do that no more. Right, Johnny Blaze, she's trying to be a rapper now, right? 
Or she's, a, she's a singer. Okay. Yeah, because she was on Love and Hip Hop, wasn't she? Right. But I'm going to say this. Hello, Monica Jules, and hello, everybody that came late. Also, Toy Smith said, money buys more sexual partners, but it doesn't necessarily buy more sex. This one? Uh, I don't know. I, I might have to disagree with that one. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I would love to understand what, what that means. Hey, low down. I want un- I would love to understand where she's coming from with that. And oh. because uh toy. What she say? And she said, see, 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 that's why you gotta pay attention. No, 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 because yeah. Malik got my phone. He oh. on his own phone. See, say money buys more sexual partners, but it doesn't necessarily buy more sex. How can it buy more sexual partners but don't buy sex? Well, because money can of buy companionship. No, because of the acts. But you still performing sexual acts. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they're saying just because you have... Hey, Tiffany Burks on Facebook land. Go ahead, Malik. More, go ahead. More money or more money is presented doesn't mean someone's going to willing to go into, and let's say S&M or bondage or mm-hmm. fatal mechanism or dominant. They may not be willing to go that far just because you got cash. But she didn't say well, sexual acts. And she said money buys more sexual partners, but, more but partners it doesn't more necessarily sex. buy more sex. And that's okay. what she means by more sex. Yeah, I get what she's saying. I get she it. means acts. Yeah. Hey, Fantasia. Yeah. But you see how you saw what you were talking about when you how you was raised. Yeah. I was raised. I was raised completely different. You know, like I was right. around my I was around my grandma and my mama. And, and with those two ladies, they put me on, you know, they put me on game, okay. the, the females, right? Mm-hmm. So I have a different perspective of them because, yes, I love them, but the stuff they taught me, you understand what I'm saying? It just, hey, it just, it, I just, just look at them for what they get. Yeah. I get yeah. it. I get it. See, that's, so, that's, that's nothing wrong with that, not to cut you off. It's nothing wrong with that. If anything, be grateful and thankful that that did happen as far as them putting you up on game, but just don't let it get to you thinking like, oh, it's every female. You see what I'm saying? Because every female is not the same, like me. Uh-oh. I learned that. No, I learned. No, I was gonna say I learned that. That's no. I know every female is not the same. It's just I'm gonna say the common female. Not every female. Is the same. I'm gonna say most of them. It's it's pretty much man. Like I said, I I don't been. I don't seen things. I've seen some change. I'm sorry. I know I've seen some change with her. Hold on for a second, y'all. Hold on for a second, real quick, real quick, real quick. I gotta I gotta shout out the sponsors. So hold on, I gotta do a commercial break because we're gonna come back. So I got to shout out the sponsors. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Cut. <laughs> Here we go. Shout out the Triple OG brand. The only brand right now that suits everything you need. Men, women, children. If you need your accessories, go to www.TripleOGBrand.com. You have the men's shorts. You have the women's shorts. You have the kids' shorts. Everything is there at Triple OG Brand. Now, what you're seeing now is a few products that's available right now on the website of the Triple OG Brand. At this time, you have pieces that have been put together by the owner himself, by different and designers, and the owner is none other than the man right here you see on the screen, Street Lotto. He come from the bricks, he come from the mud, and he's making a whole brand name for himself and his company don't forget it's not just a brand it's a lifestyle also fellas we have triple og brand cigars yes we do we have the cigars and to contact us you go ahead and go to the website you put your name in you put your email in you put the subject and you type your message street lotto will be there waiting for you don't forget whenever you need something Triple OG brand, have it. All right, let's get back to it, bro. I'm gonna need you to record a video, bro. I'm going to, but I just haven't had time to <laughs> chill. Well, Brenton, what I was basically saying was that, um, you know, Brooks, you, I need to record a video. <laughs> <laughs> you can't uh hold like every way yeah. accountable or think like every woman is gonna be the same. As far as you know, stab me in the heart on live camera. 
terrible. <laughs> hey, 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 Fantasia, the whole check. Yo, you oh, definitely break my heart. Yo, you, yo, you definitely <laughs> sounded like one of them old shows out the sixties. Hey, they hey. just read the teleprompter word for word. Oh, That's hold cool. on, it's probably just my computer. I'm sorry. Act- no, not you, Fantasia. My man here with the commercial of the day. Oh, actually, <laughs> actually, I wasn't reading word for word. Honestly, look. Reading word for word or whatever, you, know, you sounded like one of them old 70 TV shows. Hey, but that gray fit with them red shoes, I'm gonna need that. I need that whole fit. I like that. All right, cool. Well, like, sure. like well you know, hit me fit. offline because you know, I'm an ambassador. So, okay, okay, so hit me offline. Know, I'm, I'm like I said, I don't uh wear a lot of provocative tight clothes and stuff like that. Like I said, I kind of grew up in where salt, pepper, spinderella, you know what I'm saying, around that. So I'm a tomboy. I've always been like that. I've always carried myself like that. Um, but, but 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 look, Pettyville said everything started changing when people started buying body parts. Do y'all agree with that? No. 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 Nope. Not no, at all. They, they was they was doing the same stuff with no booty. I partially, exactly. I partially agree. I think it enhanced it. Yes, yeah. I can agree with you partially, Pettyville. I think that it enhanced the women and gave them more of of an incentive to go and get it. Like, let's say you have a woman who is not satisfied with her stomach and her butt. What's up, Tyra? Like, I will go on there, but I don't know if I'm gonna go on there or not. Hey, face with me, huh? Her butt shit done. Now she's like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead on it because I know I look good. So I think that do have a major part in what's going on because guess what? Out of 10 models that be on Instagram showing their asses, nine of them have had surgery. That's fact. Hey, can I ask you? So can I ask y'all something with that? Because when people say with the body parts, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think nothing really changed. They just did it more discreet back in the day. Person. Yeah, oh. because no, they okay. they, they just it just yeah. wasn't blown like that. Yeah. I think they I knew they were doing it, but they just it's just like today we won't out and open with it. But on the real man, they've been doing this stuff, man. Like a lot of this stuff Ooh. been happening. Yeah. Like, okay. man, and you you got and some people, you know, back in the day they used to take the pictures, you know, the little um the Kodak pictures and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but now it's like bro, y'all went from the Kodak what? pictures to the magazines to the uh to the regular internet and to everything I app. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Kim. So I'm like, I don't understand when understand when people say the body part. I'm like, nah, they look, we listen, they looking at back in the day, you seen the little skin magazines, you know, they ain't them girls ain't had no booty, but they were selling off the store, selling off the stove. Okay, so okay, so Mama Mary said having sex has a lot of hidden agendas, but making love provides a connection is what one should be striving for. And That's order in order to build something that is more lasting and beautiful. Do y'all agree to that? I agree. Mm. I, I agree. Having sex has a lot of hidden agendas. Okay. Uh, uh, but making love provides a connection that is okay. what one should be striving for in order to build something that is more lasting and beautiful. Okay, so let me break down what, what, what she said, what Mama Mary said. Okay. So basically, it's like the modern day how people say, oh, anybody can if. I hate her connection. Um, the table, fruits, vegetables, and tomatoes. Fantasia. Okay. No, nah, man. It's like- like- Boom, you gone. You see what I'm saying? Versus a person. We didn't hear you because you went out. Uh oh. Okay. Here. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, what she basically saying is that, you know, how the modern day people say, like, oh, anybody could F, but, you know, I want to make love or whatever. So, pretty much the reason why, she, why people say anybody could F is because usually when you F in, you F it with somebody that you don't, you know what I'm saying, really want to have a relationship lasting relationship with you just want to get that itch off you see what i'm saying so you just go smash real quick and then- i don't know i do a combination of both of hold on, hold, wait 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 <laughs> EJ, let her finish let her finish but then when you have like i'm love, at brenton i'm sorry 
when you have love making, it's like you could see yourself with this person for a long time. You could actually feel some type of love connection in your heart for this person versus effing. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So when you do go enter that person that you really have some type of feeling for, you're going to want it to last. You're going to want it to feel good. You're going to stroke slow. You're going to take your time. You're going to kiss. You're going to caress. You're going to want her to feel everything. You know what I'm saying? To where she's going to want you back. So if you just effing and effing and effing and you like, man, this the good to the mud, but I just, man, that's it. I just want to just do this couple pumps and that's it. No more. You know, <laughs> that's, that's why that's, I got all those problems. It's it's a difference. It's a big difference. It is. Hey, hey Brenton, what you say? No, I said that's why I got all them problems because I ain't, I ain't, I'm doing both at the same time. I don't even know. Because I'm like, when people talk about making love, I'm like, you and my girl, I don't make love every time. Sometimes I'm just trying to get it in. You know what I'm saying? On you know the regular tip when like when we just me and her like you know when it's romantic romantic time then I'm doing all of that, but I just I don't be sleep like when you talking about like with people dealing with a whole bunch of women and stuff man I know it's a, there's a difference because when you making love to that woman and you doing stuff that is the one you want to be with fucking it's just something excuse my language I'm cussing having sex regular sex is something different man you can run through them and it won't count as the other one like the other one exactly because you don't have no emotional connection I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Get that itch and it sound like it sound like Fantasia talking about uh new 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 crotch versus old crotch because everything <laughs> you just said is what a dude gonna do to new crotch old crotch ain't gonna get that same attention that ain't true well hold wait, old, wait 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 old crotch is good wait I'm gonna go here again I'm gonna give you the yin and the yang part about it because I hear y'all saying, you know, like the old crotch and new crotch, whatever. But let's go here. But let's go here. What have you been what have you been sexually pleased by somebody much older than you at a younger age and regular sex you just can't comply with anymore? Uh, I guess you gotta I can answer this question. I wouldn't finish, but I wouldn't finish. So, so with that being said, how do you, how do you decipher making love when you never been loved before? There you go. I put it on the table. Well, damn. I'm I'm gonna need y'all to do one thing. (laughs) Y'all keep using this word, making love. Like the word integrity. I know, right? <laughs> so let's keep this a buck. Sometimes you feel like getting it in there, sometimes mm-hmm. you don't. You said, What up, bro? Huh? Nah, you said, Came on uh, Facebook and I, and I shouted him out. What's going on? Sometimes you don't feel like all that. And contrary to popular belief, at different times you feel different ways. Sometimes you want to rekindle the old day, like when you first met Boo, so you kind of go get a couple of flowers, make a little dinner, you know. You're trying to rekindle and don't make it seem like you want her to put a uh, slob on the knob or something, okay? You want it to seem like it's something um, classy, where it's not a dirty act. So she don't feel uh, some kind of way because she said to you, why you don't give me a kiss every day when I leave for work or X, Y, Z? Well, I'm going to so, say... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to let you go. Go ahead. I'm going to let you go. Go ahead. I, I see where, where you're going, and I totally agree, but I'm going to say this. I hear people say you can't screw your side chick the way you screw your main chick. That's a lie. Wait, wait, wait. But I hear people say that. Now, now I understood when I got caught in that situation when I was in college. Because you can't screw everybody the same. If that's the case, everybody going to come at you with a mindset of you blew my mind and now you're giving it to the t- now you're giving it to this one when you told me it was mine. Okay. Well, oh, go ahead. I, I don't have a rebuttal on this one. I don't have a rebuttal neither, but I don't have a rebuttal neither. I just know 
from telling you stuff, man, trying to get this info out. I just know from past experiences, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't going to lie to you. You got good old reliable at home. You know how to put it down. You got to please her. But that outside chick, you putting that, that thing on. You know what I'm saying? You got to impress this chick. So you going out. That's what, that's me. That's me personally. Here's my thing. It. Here's my thing, Brenton. And I'm glad you said that. I don't have a rebuttal. Be- because now this was, that that question was a total setup question. Uh, and, no. the re- and the reason why I say that is because Yes, you might got a pretty young thing at home, but you smashing and, and you doing everything for. But if you got a side piece, why do you need to satisfy her without satisfying you? If Dana, you have it, somebody that satisfied you at home. Dana, it's just like, like, like I, I like to use the food analogy. You know what I'm saying? Now, I love me some crab legs, but I love chicken wings, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. I'm finna bust down on both. You understand what I'm no saying? No Gouda cheese. Yeah. Shout out to Gouda cheese. So question. <laughs> shout out to Gouda cheese. You know how you know, we do it. So check it. If you like crab legs, but you like chicken wings too, why can't your crab legs be your chicken wings on a day that you desire it to be your chicken wing? Because they're two totally different things. You know what I'm saying? Ah, listen. Listen to where I'm going. If you want crab legs on Sunday and you ain't going to get crab legs Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, even the calendar stop you in the middle and say, "What the fuck?" And then I'm gonna give me. Then I'm gonna give me some rice and beans for somebody else. You feel? Me? So, <laughs> so check it. Why I keep spreading your oats everywhere when, when, when are you, you you can have everything right here in the middle? Namely, I'm not doing this. I'm not living like this no more. But I was like I said, I tell people all the time, I ain't spreading my oats because I'm wearing a condom. Oh I'm my boy. Wearing- you- and my boy Yusef said he hit them all the same. Mm. And you yeah, that's, 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 that's why that's you be that's having that's them problems, bro. Yeah. I, that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you do it all the same. Stop. But hey, my damn phone no pencil. Well, I know oh. for a fact that if I was in a in a relationship with a dude or whatever and whatnot. And he had a side piece. I for sure would know about it. I for sure, for sure would know about it, like instantly, because because the sex would be different, right? Exactly, exactly. It would, like Sister said, hit different. Nah. It hit different. It really does. That song she made is true. It hit different. It and do. you might mean to go hard every which way, but the reason why you can't hit them all the same, and this go for you too, Yusef. And the reason why you can't hit them all the same because everybody fit is different. But that's 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 that goes back to what I said. You know, I, I like a variety sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But can I, can with, I mean? With my, with oh, the, hold on, with the variety, like I'm not doing that currently now. But before, like you know, back then, you know, it took it took some stuff to you know to get me to get locked down. Because as soon as she leave out the door, I was going somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because it was different back then. It was different. Now I got the kids. You know, I got kids and stuff like that. So now I'm more. I'm home more. I'm more appreciative of my family. You know what I'm saying? It took me to get to that point to want to, you know what I'm saying? Stay home and stuff. Before, okay. It's right. like, bro, I can go. It's, it's, it's Listen, you, you already got chicks you talk to. You know what I'm saying? And they be they be down to do whatever. They be doing them and you be doing you. EJ said. That, but it's like that. I got a question. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, 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 go ahead. And I'll wait. All right. EJ said, like Napoleon Hill said, sex energy is all geniuses. There never has been a there never has been and never will be a great leader, builder, or artist lacking in the drive driving force of sex. My purpose is abundance and affirmation. So okay, so EJ now wanna go Einstein. All right. Hmm. Like Napoleon Hill said, sex energy is all geniuses. There never has been and never will be a great leader, builder, or artist lacking in the driving force of sex. My purpose is abundance and affirmation. I agree with that, EJ. But then I disagree, too. All right. Because, because see, sex drains you. So you can't be a great leader if you're always tired. And you can't be a great builder if you're always tired. You can't be a great artist if you're always tired because your driving force is sex. If that's the case, I guess the government argument is factual 
about R. Kelly. That's why I say that can't be true because how can R. Kelly be sleeping with all these women and then making all these hits and playing basketball and in the studio and traveling? Impossible. Damn. Bingo. Man, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking, Dan. I've been said that, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole fact. And my homeboy Yusef said, that's the difference, Dana. You can't hit them all the same, but he's an S talker when he's having sex. So with that being said, that see, here we come with that. Now we talking pillow talking when having oh sex. So when you combine good wood, good head, and pillow talking, every female is going to think that they're the main female. Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on real quick, bro. What if you explain to them beforehand you ain't going nowhere? Where you thought you, huh? What if you explain to the feet? What do you explain to these females you ain't going the way you love your girl and they still letting you hit? What do you do then? Well, look, check it. If you let them know from the jump what it is, be prepared for two things. One, they going to go with what the agreement is or two, 30 years later, but they going to say you touched them and they ain't want to be touched. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no, that's why I, was, I don't know. Oh, that's not yeah. messed up, man. I'm using my phone. Last time, roll off. The whole side chick thing. Listen, side chicks came about. Thank you, Angie. For those who quote unquote lived a, a certain life, the side chick did what the main chick didn't do. First and foremost, second, it was understood that she was the side chick. So if you ever left the main chick, side chick never slide up. She slide over because somebody else won't take the number one spot. First and foremost. When you say side chick came about? In the mob. Okay. Man, side chick's been around since the beginning of time, bro. Uh, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Brothels I just want to ask you a question. I just want to, I just want to ask a simple question because I got an issue. My issue is with the dudes with the side chick. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you raw dogging the side chicks? Who so, raw dog side chicks, man? That's I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I ain't gonna sit here and cat. Sometimes you get caught in a moment, and you don't have that condom. And guess what? That booty is feeling good. Is there? This is when I was in my doggy dog world, and you're going to hit it. Your side chick more than likely is somebody that's close to you. Not somebody that's out there running around. Oh, See, no. there's a difference in between a side chick, hey. a freak, and just a hoe. Hey, Brandon. It's a big difference. What's yeah. up, bro? If I really wanted to have the right, world's greatest dang. argument, I would really answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, Malik, Malik don't, because I'm not Malik. going to hear the end of it. It is not my fault. I'm telling you, because they they listening. Man, look. No. No. Malik, Brent, but wait, Listen. I'm going to flip the script, though, Brenton. What's up? Have you ever thought about the same way we look at females as side chicks that we can be side dudes? Listen, and I embrace the role. I already know this already. I, okay. play, my, I play my role. Okay, so if you embrace your role, what makes you think a woman can't embrace her role when she the one that taught us how to do it? The listen, woman that's... and the woman no. taught us how to be a dog. Dana, Dana, listen, like I said, my mama put me on game when I was a jit. How? I never how? Because how? How did this the... woman teach you to be a dog? I don't understand. Because, hold, hold on, on, wait, on. Wait, 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 hold wait. On. Let, me, wait. let me, okay. Wait, I got to answer this Facebook question. Yusef said, what if your main chick can't take dick true story? <laughs> yeah, because sometimes they be lying. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. You said you 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 said, said what if your main chick can't take dick true story? Shooting stuff like gel up and they shot doctor prescribed. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is going? Aaliyah, what's up? Man, look, and you said, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
<laughs> that means that's a woman who, who got vaginal problems who can't get wet if she got to shoot that in her doctor prescribed area. Hey, Dana, Dana, FYI, if she can't take no more than six, she, is, she used to be a man, bro. That's not true. That's not true. I'm going to go here. A lot of women, a lot of women is not built for large penises. Nah, bro, I seen babies come out of that thing. Oh, y'all can tell me whatever, bro. I done seen folks. Listen, listen. I, I wish I done seen. I wish your leg can get on here. I done seen twenty-two inches pop out that cooler. Okay. Brent, now I know I hurt. Telling you that don't mean nothing. I had two babies. Okay, one vaginal and one C-section. Okay, my son head yeah. it literally ripped me. Okay, to where that doctor had to cut. And pulled him out. His head was stuck. Okay, so after you had that baby, your shit goes back super fucking clam tight. Don't cuss. Be able to take Listen. that. I'm sorry. Listen. I use my profanity. <laughs> so how long do you wait after that? Because I have I got question. You supposed to wait until you stop. You know what I'm saying. You stop bleeding. Your doctor says like it's okay for you to have intercourse again. It's so they all told your doctor at six you weeks, body. right? They told me six sometimes, weeks. Sometimes you have to go past your six weeks because sometimes your body can go through a lot of stress. That's why they say a woman has one foot in the grave and one foot out when she's pregnant and giving birth because that stress and that strain can stop her heart and kill her. Not to mention also um, like yellow jaundice and stuff. That's a poisonous um, uh, stuff that comes from the baby, from him urinating and feces inside you, from you pushing, and it gets onto the baby, which causes yellow jaundice. So, hey, that, hey Dana, be careful. Hey, Come Dana. On. Yeah. No cap. No cap. I remember when, uh, when the chick gave birth to my uh, my son, right? When this like chick, told, when this chick gave birth to your son. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't claim the public thing, but she gave birth to my oldest son, right? Next thing you know. Listen, man, she waited about till she stopped bleeding. You know what I'm saying? Like about the four week mark, this chick was trying to hunt you again, man. I was like, shoot, I didn't I didn't know if that was normal because you know I, the doctor told you to wait, but they be still trying to get it. They be having them Irish twins. You know how they get pregnant back to back. Then she was trying to set me. She's trying to get pregnant back to back. But is that normal for them to try to, you know, have sex early and stuff like that? Because that's no, I, it's not normal. It's not right, normal. Okay. Right, so it, it's not normal and the reason why i say it's not normal is because sometimes <laughs> it also play a part of like the medicine that she's taking and stuff it could create like other extra hormones because like i said you have to understand when a woman is pregnant she's already going through hybrid emotions versus when she wasn't pregnant so <clears throat> the reason why i call them hybrid emotions is because now you have her she is it's not just her inside of her her avatar you see what i'm saying it's her hybrid emotion another human, be, uh, another human being inside of her avatar so now you got hybrid emotions and the reason why i call them hybrid emotions is because you hmm. got the baby emotions plus your emotions on top you see what i'm saying if oh, you but hold on wait wait wait, 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 wait wait i gotta answer this question oh, i gotta reply to this facebook remark Yusuf said, baby's got to come out. There's no option. He said, he's not waiting for six weeks. <laughs> Listen, no, I was going to say that, Dana. Hold on. He Hold said, on, give me what he signed up for. He's Dana, not Dana. waiting. Dana, Dana, listen. Well, I he was that. got sloppy toppy. Uh, <laughs> so but that, I, I want to get a condom. You put that condom on for You know what I'm saying? Put the condom on for and go up it. No, still feel the same. Nah, nah, you nah, 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 nah. Ain't, nah, ain't nah I totally there. disagree he's with that. He's, he's, oh, he's, man. He's sloppy toppy. That's it. Just a head of cabbage. That's all he'll get. Uh, he I don't want no. Just, I don't want no top. I'm tired. You know, you get tired of top after six weeks. You gonna want that? You want that cooler? You know what I'm saying? Hey, well, you would get a hard pass then. Fuck around with me, I would give you a hard pass for sure. Hey, right here. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. You don't never get tired of Felicio. Look, no, I do. No, no. I'm just. I'm a different kind of guy because you know I don't like people licking up on me and shit like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Nah, I, I pass on that. Just give me the cooler. And, and I'm gonna keep the question, man. But listen, I don't listen. First of all, bro, no. I'm from Florida, man. I think half these chicks got herpes and shit. I don't want nobody licking up on me, bro. Go ahead and give my condom. I'm Stop cussing, yo. Stop cussing. Yo, <laughs> I'm I'm bro, 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I, 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 I see. Uh, okay, okay. That, let me go to the next question because I'm about to tell my secrets. Let me go to the next question. <laughs> um, Georgia girl said these days those women those women do not care that how they do not care how they get pregnant again. They do not wait six weeks. Hey, Nene, oh, miss you too. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even if you wait six weeks, you still can get pregnant again. But I'm gonna keep it a buck. That's what it's for. It's to reproduce, right? So if you get caught, then guess what? You get caught. Yeah, but that's kind of dangerous, Dana, because you ain't give your body time to heal. So you see what I'm saying? You constantly pushing and your body is discharging already. So you have to give yourself some time to take that break because if you don't and you pop up pregnant again, what's going to happen is you're going to have more complications nine times out of ten. depends on that person and their body type. So hey. you gotta be careful and be cautious. Hey, hey man, I'm like, gonna tell you like Fantasia, I'm gonna tell you like this. What's man. up, Yellow? Is she listen? They once she start bleeding, she fair game, bro. What she healed, she healed. You don't bled for five, four, five weeks, and you bled even if you bled for six weeks, you don't heal, man. Ain't that much bleeding in the world, man. Just because okay. just because a woman stops bleeding does not necessarily mean that you fully healed either. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why they tell you you have OBGYNs because you got to go and get that thing checked to make sure everything is everything. Oh, my Lord. So, so hold on. So they can stick that rod up in you and do that little thing. That, I don't know that that's what the thing is spread it open for. It's they called a pap smear. It's called duck yeah. lips. Yeah, they can do that. But I can't put my feet in there for a little bit. Oh, God. Bring you can't put your feet. Peter, you know my Peter. I don't want to. Oh. You said I can't cuz I can't be over okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. Right, right. You can't, I can't slide it up in there. You know what I'm saying? We're doing the same thing. He get to go in there with a mic. He get to do some some stuff I want to do. Look in that mug. You don't look in there. Hello, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? <laughs> he get to do that. And you get to put your legs in the air and all of that. And he no, can do that, but I can't do what I need to do. It ain't like that, Brad. <laughs> it's uh, not like that. <laughs> and, Huff, be doing that. and Huff said. It's not good for our bodies to have babies back to back in some cases. And Huff, why? I just told you why, Dana. <laughs> Georgia girl said everybody does not have natural labor. Some have C-sections. You have to heal. Press even quicker to heal if you got C-section. No, it's not. I have both vaginal and C-section. That shit is no joke. I'm trying to tell Stop you. Stop cussing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But when you oh, get them staples and you go ahead and put that cream on and you put that body shaper on and you let them staples heal, but in the meantime, you could be getting it in, it, right? It's nothing with like, you know. Hold on, no, hold on. But don't hey, bust Fantasia. the staples, but I mean, arch that back a little bit. No, Fantasia, you can't. Can you, can you help me out with something? Because <laughs> I'm confused. Now, you listen, every, Fantasia, I'm confused. You're a woman, so you might can tell me because. Every woman I know, they pushed my kid. I seen them come out. You know what I'm saying? And they mm -hmm. just they slid out that thing. But, with, and with, Huff, but I cannot have a baby. And trust me, if men, if it, if if the good Lord reversed the role of men having babies out, there, there won't be no babies ever. I have an IUD problem. Oh my god! <laughs> but this, no, I'm saying no. But for real, with the C, hey, Fantasia with the C section. Oh. Miss okay, Virgo no, said she had three C sections. Excuse that's, that's me, crazy. Comment, please. Wow. I pray for you. I know exactly what you're going through because my oh. sister she had four, and they told her if she have another one, that it was gonna kill her. Do you okay. bleed after the C section? A C section can yeah. kill you, though. Yes, yes, it can. Yes, it can. Just like you, can kill you, as well. can kill you. I just told you this, Dana. You can, listen, listen the, the, let me let me say this. I had two babies by C-section. I wanted to push Carter out, but because of the way that my previous doctor uh, cut me with my oldest when I was 16, when, when I got cut, I got the up and down cut. Therefore, my tissues, as they grew back, it connected with my uterus. So I couldn't even... Yeah. I couldn't even push Carter out. I wanted to have I wanted to have Carter vaginal. I couldn't, but that's fine because guess what? My vagina has never been stretched out, so I could literally like be like a virgin. Like, I'm out. 
Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Time out, time out. Wait, 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 time out. I must say this and I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Yusef, hey Brooke, and you know Yusef from around the way getting on you, right? That's Yusuf Bay. Tell Yusuf, don't make me slap him. Back. Yusuf said he would have a hysterectomy at 16. You quiet. If men had to have babies, right? And then he turned around and said, Wow, she had two C sections, and it's like her vagina never, <laughs> never, never stretched you, out. You want me listen, to explain to you why? Listen, listen, listen. No, no. Oh, God. Listen. listen. No, you can't prove it now. Listen, he turned around and said, Brooke is an alien. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't got that area. No, here's what happens because see, men is ignorant to the woman's body, and y'all don't understand which how our body operates. That's number one. I number two, a baby has baby. never been pushed out of my vagina. That means my vagina has never been pushed out of form, like it has never been expanded. I will always contract. And then the first one was an emergency C-section because Jason's uh, heart rate started going down. So they took him. I wasn't even no more than five centimeters. My, my vagina never opened. So mm -hmm. how can you, if your vagina never opened, it, it, it's like you're virgin again. If I don't have sex for nah, a long time. That's not how it goes, bro. Yes, it does. How you going to tell me? You ain't no damn woman. You ah, a man. Listen, I'm cussing. <laughs> if I can stick more than two fingers in there. <laughs> Fantasia. If two fingers can go in there, that, that means there ain't no girl. No, Fantasia, Fantasia, I need you to be my witness because you can understand where I'm coming from with this. I'm not saying, like, God damn it, I'm a virgin, like, virgin, virgin. I'm giving you an extent of if a, if a baby has never, a nine, ten pound, seven pound, eight pound, if a baby has never been pushed out of your vagina, that means your vagina has not been stretched. You understand that? Yes, ma'am. But it's technically not stretched. Can I ask a question? More so, can I ask a question? The baby is growing in the womb. That's not can the I Can I ask a question? What? What's the hostility for, bro? Oh, you know, I just get loud. Like, they know I Hey, hey, Francesca, can I ask a question? But, yeah. but wait, Brooke, Yusef said he never heard this story from you. And before, post a baby pic. He wants to see what Lord Jason looked like before, when he came out. <laughs> Tell you oh, something. Man. Don't make me slap his goddamn bitch. <laughs> when I come back, ask him, is he at the shop today? Because I'm going to come and slap him. I'm just going to roll right on him and slap him. That's your question, Brent. And say, nah, yeah, I'm just a real question because I always okay. wanted this. I always wanted this. Now, when y'all pushing the baby, right? You know how you said the head got stuck? Do the shoulders hurt more? Fuck no, you, the shoulders, no, the shoulders were for me was actually a breeze after the head was out because, like I said, my son's head was stuck because I was so small and tight. So, and what they had, had to do was they had to take some gel and like push around to kind of like get his head to pull out. But they put the suction on his head like three times, and each time it just kept popping off. Oh my god, so, that's why I said just get my baby out. I ain't got time yeah, oh, it was it my baby. Stop I'm over talking each other. But stop over after talking. after the head got out pretty much they kind of like it's kind of like they kind of tuck and fold them a little bit and twist them and then the shoulders just come flying straight mm -hmm. on up. So it's just so like my, kid, just, my kids got some broad shoulders. So I'm thinking, like, damn, those shoulders had to fuck her. Just give me mess her up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, nah, if your kids got broad shoulders nine times out of ten, yeah, yeah. they messed her up. Because <laughs> the wait shoulders second big push out. Wait, yeah, like, wait. The first is the head. Some hey, kids when they born, Sorry. they have to get like a certain bone kind of broken just so they can pull them out oh as far God. as their shoulders. Wait right. a minute, Brooke. Are you looking at the chat? I can't see the chat. Hold on. None of us Angie Walker that. said broke V. I mean Brooke V, aka broke cooch. <laughs> what? I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Toy has now entered the panel. So now oh, we man. have another person. Hi, sis. Hi, sis. Hey. Toy in the house. Hey. Hold on. Toy is now on the panel. So I'm going to let y'all know it's now Malik, Brooke, Fantasia, myself, Brenton, and Toy. Since nobody wants to show their face. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Toy. 
Okay, shit, jump in. Hey, Dana, you know mm-hmm. what slowed me down from having kids? Huh? You know what really slowed me down from having kids, man? Mm-hmm. Child support. <laughs> Can we talk about that? Hold on. What? That That's a whole nother day. That's no, tomorrow. no, no, no. I need to talk about that. No, that, that no, that's another day. But see, that's the best thing to happen for me. I don't want to talk about that today. I don't want to talk about that tomorrow. Brooke, Brooke, that's you another day. Be organic. You got to let it be Brooke, organic. Brooke, that's another day. I'm going to talk about something else tomorrow. Brooke, that's yeah. another day. But if you really want to talk about child support. Yes. And because, see, your view ain't going to be my view and you're going to be mad. No, and it's I, not. I don't want you How mad you at me two days in a row. Let oh, me ask you a question. How you know my view ain't going to be your view? Have you heard my view on child support? Wait wait a minute, Brooke. You said, said she pushed that baby out gagging, didn't even know the nigga was out. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Yousef is having a field day with you today. I promise you, when I get in, when I get, when I leave out, I'm going to drive past and throw some goddamn eggs at his uh, barbershop. Now, how about that? That's going to solve every day. Leave me alone. Now, do you know my views on child support? Because I can tell you real quick, it ain't nothing long at all. I'm a victim right? of it. Which, all right. You know I, don't what, believe, what, I don't believe what, what in child support. Bro? Okay. I don't believe in child support. Um, and and that's it. I don't believe in it. And um, when women do it, nine times out of ten, they do it to spike the man unless the man is really trifling. But I vow to both my son and father, my oldest son and father, Big Jason, as well as my husband. I would never, in a million years, take them down child support. Ever. I don't believe in it. Okay, so now we're switching gears, y'all, from childbirth to C-sections, from C-sections the child support so so before we go into it y'all know i gotta shout out the commercial you feel mm-hmm. me you feel me <laughs> you feel me i gotta shout out the commercial because this next whole joint is going to take a crazy turn i got a feeling <clears throat> because there's some mothers out here that's gonna jump on this panel and they're gonna tell their whole feelings so while y'all at it, don't forget the Triple OG brand. We have everything for you from men to women. Also, we have Triple OG cigars. So check it. If you want to support a colored owned business, Triple OG brand is the brand for you. Why? Because it's not just a brand. It's a lifestyle. Also, we have virtuous wear for the women. We have sweatsuits for the men, women, and kids. Man, look, hit up my man, Street Lotto. I guarantee you, tell him Triple OG brand Dana J sent you and see what they'll work out for you. Right now, I can't give you a definite percentage off, but I'll have one for you on the next show. All right? Thank y'all for joining. Y'all be blessed. Now back to our show. All right, Brooke. Yes. So on the panel, we have... Dana J, we got Toy, we got Fantasia, we got Brenton, we got Brooke, and, Ma- and Malik is going to be popping in and popping out. He right here. All right. So, they can hear you. so now, um, stop being a bully. I'm not being... <laughs> Shut up. Y'all know I'm aggressive. Get out, Malik. Get out. Get out, Malik. Get out. You uh-uh. have to get out. You're get on out. live, bro. Mute your phone. Sorry. He got he to he gotta get out. <laughs> You're, he just fought it, and he got to get out. Hey, Malik. <laughs> Brooke. Go ahead. I'm ready. I'm sorry. Is she holler. He just fought it. <laughs> Don't say that. You gotta get out. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm here, bro. I'm, what's up? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> so, so what I'm gonna do is since we're talking child support, right? You said you don't believe that women should take kids down for child support. Well, tell us why. Well, I said I don't believe in child support. So let me let me just explain to you two reasons why? very short. First, wait a minute. The first reason is this. Before I even decided to, to even go through with the pregnancy, the first thing that I've asked myself, number one, is if anything happened to my kids' dads, would I be able to take care of my kid by myself or with me and my family? Will it be a burden on me? Will it be something that I regret? That answer was always no. Okay. 
Not to mention the caliber to which the man that I chose to have a baby by. Now, I, I've always said this and I'll continue to say it and I will never backtrack my words. Don't cuss. I'm not going to cuss. Um, I, I'm being doing good. I'm the one who ain't been cussing. Okay. Um, I've always said that um, whoever I have a baby with, they may not be a good person. They may not be not a good person. They may not be a good boyfriend or a good, good, good companion, but fatherhood, I would never be able to take that from them. And it's a difference. If me and my son fall, because you know, me and Jason, we was together for about seven, eight years. He was a horrible ass boyfriend turned for y'all. I just says, don't ever. cuss and you cuss. Horrible, a horrible boyfriend. He was a horrible fiance, but he was the perfect dad. Okay. okay. Jason didn't go without. Not just that, but when I needed anything extra outside of Jason, I could call him and be like, yo, can you give me $20 for some gas? Or oh, I need $50 to get my hair done. All right, here you go. Where you want me to send it at? You want to come and get it? Or we want me to bring it to you? It was even one time where I said to him, listen, I'm trying to fix this stuff on my credit. I need you to get me an apartment in your name. Guess what? He asked me, he asked me sugar honey iced tea. He went and said, where you want me to get you back to sign these papers? <laughs> when you do things like that for one another, it's no need for me to be vindictive against him. Now, did me and him go through a spell where we weren't talking? Yes. But fatherhood, he always made sure that I was straight. Therefore, he knew his son was straight. It was no question. This man never asked me. I ain't had to say, this is for this person, or this is for me to do this with Jason. I ain't had to say nothing. I could text him and say, I need $150. He's like, all right, okay. If I don't have it, I'm going to get it to you by, you know, such and such. And then he will come through with it. That's why I said I would never do it. It's the caliber of the man you choose to have a baby by. You just can't go out and have any and everybody. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, this topic, everybody just need to let everybody talk and get it out. Okay. Let me go next. Go so can I finish my last? I'm not finished yet. I got two more. Uh, one more minute. So because I just explained about uh, the, my oldest son, father. Now mm -hmm. with my husband, that's my husband. The one thing I can't say, he was, he, listen, he's a good husband now. Okay. But I could never take fatherhood from him. He's always been an awesome <laughs> father. For that, I knew that before I decided to conceive. He, even if it ever came, I knew me and him may not get along. But if I ever said Carter need anything, he will stop what he's doing to make sure that Carter has. Even the, oh, even Jason, even Jason, if Jason need anything. So when it comes down to me saying, oh, I'm going to take him down child support for what? <laughs> now, if you got a trifling dude, because it is some out, don't get it twisted. It is some out. But nine times out of ten, I see good men who get snaked by women all because they're mad that the man doesn't want them anymore or the man doesn't want to be in a relationship with them anymore. They just want to take care of their children. And then a woman gets mad and then hold the child away, tell them, oh, I'm going to take you down child support. I know you make out 100000 a year. So <laughs> guess what? You know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take you down child support because I know I'm going to get half of that. That's not right. That's, that's out of order and it's not right. And I'm going to hit the mute. Uh, go, go ahead, go? Go ahead. Okay, this is what it is. My circumstance is different. I don't I don't really hate child support. What it is, like in Florida, they got it set up a little different. Um when my when I had my children, my first three children, what the women would do was they went and put me on child support, but you still you know you give them money or whatever. So when it came down time for me to get the kid and all they kept playing all these games and you know what I'm saying? Trying to duck you and trying to keep the babies away from you. So in Florida, if you want the rights to your kids and you don't, you say you, you sign a birth certificate or whatever, and you want to get custody or whatever, you go down to the courthouse. It's almost putting yourself on child support. The judge will make you pay child support, mm -hmm. but you get the rights to your kids. And you got to legitimize. You got to legitimize yeah. your kids. Well, yeah, you know. So no, 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 Brooke, let him finish. No, I was, all I was just confirming what he's saying, but I was just trying to confirm it on the married side because guess what? And Brooke, in several states, even Brooke, including Merle. Let me just get it out real quick. Brooke, let you him know, finish. You have to sign the birth certificate, but you're not listening. I'm great to tell you something that a lot of people know. Just listen. Even in Maryland, if you are married and you aren't divorced or you in a if you're in a relationship that you have to, but if you're married, when you go in, the husband does not have to sign the birth certificate. Their names automatically goes on the birth certificate automatically. All right, I'm shutting up now. 
okay, but yes, yeah, in my circumstances, that that's what I had to do, you know, to you pretty much, you know, get vegetation, get a court order for the judge, you know what I'm saying? Get, I got shared, what, joint custody? You know what I'm saying? We technically 50-50. Um, and they pretty much was only mad about the beneficial part of it. They wasn't mad about me spending time with my kids. You know, they wanted all the, you know, the, the government assistance they can get pretty much for those kids. So even when it comes down to it, I don't pay. I got like, I got four kids, only pay for two of them, right? But even with the two of them, I get to claim on my taxes. You know what I'm saying? I get everything back and we get the same kind of share time and everything like that. So child support really didn't hurt me. It just made, you know what I'm saying? It is, it just, it is stuff you got to go on a piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? For to tell the person you got to see your kids, you understand what I'm saying? That's how they make you establish, make make you do DNA tests for the kids and everything. That's to establish, you know what I'm saying? That that's your kids. It, that's what makes it. That's what makes it horrible. Uh, if it's going down here, there's a lot of rules with it. If you don't sign that birth certificate, and she can do a lot of things to you. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with your children. You know, in Florida, if you want your rights, pretty much you you go down to that courthouse, they can put you on child support regardless. But no matter how much you make, they can put you on child support. Well, I know um, my experience as far as with my two children's um, fathers or sperm donors, whatever, however, um, pretty much both of them are on child support. Not my choice. Um, not my choice at all. By me, when I was younger, um, my mother, she was on assistance, government assistance. So by me basically being on her case, they forced us to pretty much go on and put him on there because they put it in my mom's head and they was talking to my mom and not me. I kept saying to them, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Reason being was because I didn't want no ties to, to them at all. I just wanted my children. That's all I wanted. So um, pretty much the worker, she sat across from me and my mother and she said, you know, cause I was 16 when I had my, uh, when I got pregnant with my son, I was turning 17 when I had him. Both my children, they're five years apart, but um, pretty much I had no say so. They talked to my mother and told my mother, well, you know, what if he, what if he disappears or anything happens, you know, you want her to have some type of support. So it all trickles down to, um, the trauma as far as getting the man from out of the house and putting government assistance in and so forth and so on, that still kind of connects into that, if y'all get what I'm saying. But child support was not my choice. It, it wasn't. Um, years down the line, I went to the courts and I would battle with the courts to get them off of the child support. Uh, one of the judges literally looked at me in my face and said, no. He's going to pay what he owe where we can deduct it, like bring it down as far as how much he's supposed to pay. And that's what they did. They brought it down, but they did not take him off. They just didn't want to. So pretty much it's, it's a loop. It's a loop for the government to get their hands, get that cash. You know what I'm saying? From when you was pregnant and you gave birth at the hospital. So they go for the father through the child support for the father to pay for that as far as the room, the food, the birthing, the doctor. That's what the child support um, is for. That's how the state and the government gets their money from that. If it makes sense to y'all, I don't know. But if not, I can go further. It's up to y'all. What state you at? I'm on the run from informants. I cannot disclose my location right now. <laughs> Same you already <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only reason I ask, the only reason I ask is because I know, I know down here, like, if you know how women want to get food stamps and stuff like that, they're giving these ladies the option. If you don't put the baby daddy on child support, the mama don't get Medicaid. And see, but, you know, get, like, wait, 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 wait. But this has been going on since the 60s. Yeah, it has. And this I'm, is I'm how they broke up the family homes. But I'm going to tell you this. I want to hear Malik's side. And then I know Brooke going to come with some fire again. But then I'm going to slap the whammy on all of it. So well, I want to hear what Malik got to say. Well, before Malik say anything, I know I kind of hit the hammer on the nail with it. Like I said, I gave a, a little quick, you know what I'm saying, insight as far as on my case. Because like I said, the state, which was, in, in my case, the state was the judge and the FIA worker. 
So by those two people working for the state, they pretty much told my mother, like, put him down there for her. I had no say so because to them, I was still a, a minor to a degree. You see what I'm saying? And then on top of that, I was living in my mother's household. So they took all those things and just was like, nope, this is what you're going to do. This is what's going to happen. And then when I took it down to the courts to get him completely cut off because I was more than happy, you know what I'm saying? Working for myself, being on my own. Like I never asked them for anything. Whatever they gave is what they gave. I never was Fantasia. one of those bitter people. Huh? Fantasia, I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. And I'm going to answer you. But I want to hear what Malik got to say first, because when I come back and answer, it's going to answer everybody's problems. But I will say this. They did that to your mother because your mother didn't know. Of course, she didn't know she was from she's a Cuban lady. So, of course, she's not going to know. <laughs> she don't know. <laughs> of course. Brooke, Malik, y'all don't have nothing to say. Guess not. So, I'm gonna hit y'all with truth real quick. Real quick. I'm gonna hit y'all with nothing but truth and facts. So, this is what they're not gonna show you. And if you look on the screen, you'll see it. Supreme Court agrees child support law unconstitutional. Now, the legislator went too far in giving government officials the power to change child support orders issued by judges in divorce cases. The Montana Supreme Court has ruled in a six to one decision issued Thursday. The court said in a 1997 law providing said a 1997 law providing that authority trespass on judicial authority and violated the constitutional requirement for separation of power among the branches of government. The state child support enforcement division and the executive branch cannot have blanket ability to alter orders issued by the judicial branch. The justice, the justices said in upholding a lower court decision. The ruling was a defeat for the administration, which had argued that it needed the authority to quickly modify child support orders to comply with federal law. Otherwise, the state could jeopardize federal funds for the program charged with recovering delinquent child support payments, officials said. While it understands that concern, the court said that cannot, of course, justify unbridled departure from constitutional norms re respecting the, uh, the autonomy of individual branches of government. The constitutional dispute arose from a 1994 Toole County divorce case between Russell and Camille Subert. Subert was ordered to pay $828 a month for child support of his four children, but his former wife later asked the court, asked that the court order amount be increased because Subert's income was higher than when the original order was issued. When the district judge rejected her request, the state child support office said it planned to review the payment order and consider making changes. District Judge Mark Bicic of, of Shelby issued an order blocking that move, and in May 1998, he declared the law giving the agency authority to change court orders unconstitutional. The state appealed, arguing, among other things, that no legal dispute existed to justify Bicic's order because neither Subert nor his ex-wife had challenged the law that he threw out. The high court upheld Bicic, saying he acted properly because the Child Support Enforcement Office had threatened to intrude in a case where the judge still had jurisdiction. I can keep going, but it's not that much. Bicic's decision to overturn the law was a legitimate action to protect his jurisdiction and to keep Siebert from having to make higher payments because of a bad law, the Supreme Court said. Justice Terry 
Thrala writing for the court. What? (laughs) Writing for the court said the law was fatally flawed because it allowed the executive branch to change a court order without a mandatory review by a judge. Although similar laws in Missouri and Iowa have been upheld, they they contain a, a requirement that changes be approved by a judge before they take effect, he said. Justice Carla Gray was the lone dissenter. She said Basic and other judges should not act on their own to resolve issues rather brought up by opposing sides in legal disputes. So, <laughs> I don't know why Brooke up there trying to draw pictures and stuff. That was a cute little feature. I know. That was cute. <laughs> so, so, at that point, it goes to show that the, the, the Child Support Administration they 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 will try to make their own laws or make their own things valid because they enforce in federal regulations. Child support is really a federal regulation. Child support is not child support. Child support is Title 4D funding, the same thing you go to school with. Title 4D, Title 4D funding, section 2B and C9. Can I ask you a question? Yep. Um, so do you agree that if a man owes child support that he should have his license and all like his credentials removed away from him if he doesn't pay? I um, totally disagree. Can okay, I'm gonna tell you why? I disagree too, but go ahead. How can a man work? If first of all, let's go here. We shouldn't have a commercial driver's license to drive a private vehicle. That's first thing. That's all goes into the monetization and the bond and stuff. And we'll talk about that Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Second thing, if you made the child in private, be a man and take care of the child in private. Ooh. You shouldn't be forced to take care of something. Man, excuse me. I'm just going to be vulgar. You, you shouldn't be forced to take okay. care of a baby that came from a vagina that you choose to ejaculate in. Mm. Hey, hey, Dana, now that's two sides of that now. Huh? So what about the what about when the man get a woman pregnant and she get rid of it and he wants it? Well, guess What's what? I think she should go to jail. That's no, kind of, no, if that's anything, killing the kid. No, if anything, have communication skills. That's where communication ties in. That if you if you could lay down with a person and y'all know what's gonna happen and you not use a protection, you know what's gonna happen. Y'all both grown adults. So with that being said, you have to sit down as two grown adults. Fantasia, Fantasia, wait, 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 wait. Let, me say this right quick, bro. let me say this right quick. Listen, Fantasia, see, with regular people with common sense, that may work. But in reality, every like it's a this high society is definitely this, this government set up. They want the man to be held accountable for whatever his actions is, which he should if he's going out mm-hmm. here doing stuff like that. But on the other end, they don't hold the, we don't have the same options as a woman. If I get a woman pregnant, I tell her I don't want the baby, she keeps it, I gotta pay for a baby I didn't want. Now she, yeah. if I get her pregnant and she sits here and tells me she don't want to keep it and she get rid of it, I'm the one left. you know what I'm saying? It's not the same, it's not it's not the same thing going both ways, man. And I people always try to no, People I get try to make it right. Yeah, I but get it's like, it. But well, I think one way that you can solve that issue, and I'm sorry, Fantasia, baby, I mean to cut you off. You know, I got to say it fast before I forget. Um, one way that that issue can be resolved is if the if the person, the man, really doesn't want the baby, then when the baby comes, he would have to sign over all parental rights. Therefore, he wouldn't be liable for anything because he signed over the rights. One at a time. You know, one, 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 at, one at a time. Even if you try to sign over your rights, you they still make you pay child support for that baby, man. Yep. That's they still here. It. So really? it's like you I, damn I it, you you it. Right. That's it. Damn. No, you ain't got no rights for the kids, and you still paying for them. Cause that's okay. and that's the issue. I'm like, you, you can have a, like I, I'm always holding men accountable for their actions. But it should go both ways. 
You understand what I'm saying? And yeah, it I've... don't go both ways. I tell people like, look, they always say her body, her choice. But what about if I? What if I never had a kid and I wanted a kid or whatever? We fucked around and got, right. excuse me, maybe messed around and got, got a pregnant. She gonna kill the only kid I possibly can ever have. You understand what I'm saying? And that's not right. She need to go to jail because okay. murder to a kid. I agree to a certain extent. I agree to a certain extent. And why I say that is because, again, it is our bodies. So it is our right, technically, um, to make that decision. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> it, it, it is our, I said I agree to disagree because it is our right. But here's what also can be done about that. You can also do the same thing that I just said with the woman. Y'all can come up with a contract and say, okay, I want to, you know, turn over all parental rights when this person had his baby. And you can choose not to take the woman down, child support, but to take care of your baby solely. That can be done too. You know that, right? If you turn over all parental rights, you still won't pay child support. You're not listening to what I'm saying. I understand it. I'm saying... The way you pay child support is if someone activated. You're not just going to wake up and have a baby and say, oh, I got to pay child support. No, the person has to go through with the process. But bro, this is what you're saying. Even when they go, even say this, like this. You got, like I said, you got a lot of people who don't use to say common sense. They, they don't think like you think. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Right, a lot of people right. don't go that route. If I told a chick, she, listen, I tell a chick I want a baby, she'd be like, I'm having this baby, yada, yada, yada. She don't give a crap. She listen. She already knows what she's gonna do. I'm gonna pay child support regardless. So I might as well. I might as well say that. You understand what I'm saying? Aww. But other people, yeah. I'm sorry. He over here talking. Yeah. Sorry. But it's just a lot. It's just a lot of stuff that I just think it should go both ways. If they want like air, like women, like I'm with treating women fairly and equally, so they should get equally the same stuff that men get. You understand what I'm saying? If we get some bad stuff, she get some bad stuff too. Shout out to Apple Shout Candy. Apple Kitty said, y'all men, keep your penises and your pants free. Okay, and y'all ladies pull up y'all pants and keep y'all vaginas tucked in. Okay. Just use protection. That's that's just the bottom line. Just use protection. Because you, you know what I'm saying? You go get hormones, you go get a little itch that you got to scratch, just go on in. Use protection. That's what you got to do. Be a grown adult. Okay. This is the problem with people nowadays. Nobody wants to communicate they real or just wow. try to where people try to say, oh, you being too real. Well, when is, why? I'm just lost to the extent. Well, here's my thing. Here's my thing. If two people have sex and have a baby, right? And the man don't want the kid, but, but, but the woman do, and she go through and have it. Okay, that's her choice. But if she get pregnant and she want to keep the baby and the man don't, you can't force him to take care of that baby because he already done told you, but he ain't want it. Hmm. So we can't be double standard with that. That's, Dana, what Dana, Dana. That's why I said it's just about communication. If you if yeah. you sit up there and you grown and y'all both saying y'all grown or whatever, use protection. Don't don't be one of them people that still think they in they sixteens and seventeen year olds that could just pull out and oh my god nothing's happening. You know what I'm saying? My pull out game swag. No, just really really know who you get to know who you about to lay with before you even lay with them. Like it's it's levels and rules to certain stuff, and you got too many reckless people running around out here doing reckless things this is why the law has been put in place like this because it has to have a balance you got yeah. more people running around not taking care of of their kids but making them hence men you do have more of those doing that but it's always been like that even around slavery time you sitting up there you look up your daddy telling your mom i'm going to go get some milk he don't come back hmm hmm oh wait wait Oh, I got a rebuttal for that. Or how about this? Mama putting on that red dress and red shoes to go get that baby some uh some warm milk. Where's she getting that milk from with that red dress and red shoes on? Hmm. See what I'm saying? This is judicial fantasy, right? I get it. So it all boils down to the person who you select to pre create with. It all boils down to the person who you select. To pre croak what you know the word to conceive with. Because yeah. trust and believe, a man ain't gonna ever let his baby go hungry, ain't gonna ever let his baby go without. It doesn't matter if it's the bare minimum. A that real man, man wouldn't. A real man yeah, that's wouldn't. That's too bad. 
That's so a real true. male. Hey, hey, Dana, I'm going to say like my grandma to say, that could be the milkman, baby, for all I know. <laughs> when they well, come out the milkman. That's true, Britton, because my, grand, my grandpa done told me some stories where he know for a fact that his daddy ain't his daddy, but he know for a fact that his mama had to go do what she had to do to get some breast milk to feed the rest of them babies that was trickling down. You see what I'm saying with that porridge and stuff? Okay. So yeah, sometimes you have to, <laughs> you have to do what you got to do. As far as back in them times and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But nowadays, you have more of a leave. That's, that's tricking, though, Pastor That's tricking. Tricking some food. But you know they that. call it that. They call it the hole in the wall or the juke joint. Now, stop. Don't do that. But they go, but that goes back to tell you, they've been tricking. <laughs> of course. You go back to the castle days, the brothels and stuff. The brothels and stuff. Jezebel? Did you not know that was in the Bible, Jezebel? Ain't Jezebel in the Bible? What she did? Yeah, but the thing. She was a what? People act like this. People act like this something new, bro. They act like this something new. I'm like, this ain't nothing new with the game. This time. Well, that should be going on. That has been going on since we have been here in this world. Period. That's been going on, and before we even got here. Correct. It, yeah, the brothels and all that stuff like that they used to have in England, them brothels and all them. Yeah, even the even the kings, the kings they had their own little hooker hooker room where he was the only one that would go in that dang on hooker room with all them women and stuff. Yeah. So is it safe to say that history just repeats itself and just recycle itself? Yes. Yep. yes. Yep. yes. Yep. And it modernizes itself every time. Then. Yeah. So would you so would you agree that the world is nothing but the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah right now? Yes, hmm. yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard it. I heard also that this is the modern day Babylon and all that stuff. I've heard people say that too. Yeah, I've heard people That's say good. that. Now, um, I would say as far as error right now that we were we are in, as far as melanated woke beings, if you are woke or whatever, you know what this time is. This is a, a spiritual time of awakening right now. So you are more than awakening. You're becoming who you are, your true goddess or God self. Yep. So you getting fed a lot of knowledge that other people are not finding in books, but it's just popping up in your head. Why? Because you're grounding and you're walking in the sun. You're getting messages through your hair or through your feet. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Preach, baby. It's on a spiritual level. My oh, Brittany, we are, we are definitely on a, and going through a spiritual warfare right now, mentally with everything. So I'm I'm with you with it, Mama. I'm with you. So, so you going through a spiritual warfare, Brooke? <clears throat> well, no, I said right now that some of the things that we're going through as humans, as beings, we all are going through spiritual warfare because trust and believe, demons is real, and the devil is real, demonic spirits is real. It's real. And all we doing is just basically seeing partial things of what our ancestors went through. What we feeling is partial things of what our ancestors went through. It's just modernized. And they're going to keep trying to colonize you until you go find out who you from, where you're from, then you can go forward. You can't meet with other tribes until you figure out what tribe and who you are. And stop oh. always calling yourself black or colored. You are just melanated. Or you gotta, stop. you gotta figure it out. Fantasia, I'm gonna say that you're gonna get crucified like I got crucified last night. Hey, listen, they no, can you bring hey, hey, Dana, oh, they ain't ready. They not ready for this. Right. They're not ready for this. I'm telling you, I will I will say some stuff right now that'll make everybody throw their Bible outside and burn it. Don't play with me. Well, let me just say this. A lot of times when people go up against and a lot of things that because people don't really know who Dana is, I know him. He know that Bible through our neck. He's a prophet. He knows the shit that's going to happen. But these people don't even realize who he is. So we'd be so funny watching when they start talking that spiritual stuff. I'd be looking at him like, Dana, oh, Lord, he can really get him. <laughs> and if you that notice, and if, and if you notice, I just look side, I'd be like, mm -hmm. right. keep talking. Well, you know, in Leviticus 22, 9, but then I'm going to hit him with this. If, yeah. if Leviticus 22 9 telling you to be ye also ready, why do Revelation 6 and 6 pretty much tell you that other oh, end time is here? You shall already have your gauntlet ready. Hmm. Some people don't understand what's going on. And then people be like, oh, 
No disrespect to the gay community. I'm going to put it out there. Some people be like, oh, gay people are accepted. So, so, so your pastor will come in and talk about and preach about the harlots and the homosexuals that's in the pew area. Or should I say in the crowd? Excuse me. But they won't talk about the homosexual that's directing the choir, that's playing the organ, and that's sleeping with everybody else. Hmm. That's my issue with the church. If the church is going to be a church, let the people that's gay and homosexuals and all of them, let them come in. Though and You shouldn't try to change them. The word should change them. But if they are comfortable operating in that spirit in your church, it's something about you that's not, but that's not bringing the conviction for them to change. Well, can I piggyback off that real quick? Yeah, it's sad to say this, but that is one of the things that debunks a lot of people who call themselves quote unquote Christians, because guess what? They're not, because what are we told to do as Christians? We're told number one, not to judge. Number two, we're told to love one another unconditionally, right? We are told to basically honor, you know, thy parents and be good to thy neighbor. And guess what happens with Christians? They shun against the gay people. They say, oh, well, you gay, you're not welcome here. Well, you just judge me. Didn't God say not to do that? Ain't that one of the top things that you aren't supposed to do as a human being? Well, right. Well, that's not true. Or the pastor getting caught doing something he ain't got no business doing in the congregation. Or you got the dang on. Um, one sin, yeah, one sin is not better or bigger than the other. That's okay. not true. Mm, yeah. Well, let's well, say common sense. Now, okay. I'm not talking about if I kill somebody, it's the same as if I have uh, unprotected sex or whatever with somebody or have sex adultery. I mean, the levels, I get it, but a sin is a sin. It's still a ding against you, however you look at it. Um, well, first off, when you born, you know how they say like, oh, uh, you're born, you're born in sin, or some people say that. I That's not my belief. Um, that never was my belief. My belief is very different. My belief has always been you are not born in sin. You are actually born holy and born perfect is when you get older is when you start to sin, when you get tainted and you let, you know, temptation and things like that kind of get to you is when when you start getting strikes against you is what I feel. Because to me, you got so many people trying to just take so much stuff and just put it here, put it there, put it here, put it there. But like I said, I got proof of everything that I can say. And I'm, I'm trying to be light and polite, but they don't know exactly where I'm trying to go with it. But I'm just going to leave it there. But I'm going to say this. And the Bible do say, uh, and I'm going to give it to you four ways. New IV versions say, do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detest detestable. New Living Translation say, do not practice homosexuality, homosexuality having sex with another man as with a woman. It is a detestable sin. English versions say, you shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. Now, let's go across the waters. The other uh, Biran Bible says, you must not lie with a man as with a woman, that is abomination. King, King James Version, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. And new King James Version say that too. So, so with that being said, if the Bible is telling you don't do something, and if we suppose to walk in the image of God, why can't we like what he like and hate what he hate if he even said it in the Bible? He says, love what I love and hate what I hate. So if God hate it, why can't we? If we supposed to be in his likeness, in his image. Well, real quick. Um, I'm I don't know why you've been blocked, EJ. What's going on? Uh, um, you know, I was made in his likeness, in his image. You know, she came from my rib. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, I lost my train of thought. Cause he, okay. Y'all, so go ahead. Uh, did I just shut down the whole situation? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I was waiting. I didn't want to start talking and then somebody said something. 
Um, <clears throat> can you repeat the last thing that you said? Okay, I'm sorry. My connection was messing up. I said, Brent, you know that's a metaphor, right? Mm -hmm. What's a metaphor? Yes I, yes, I know it is. Yes, I know it is. Okay, so I ain't got to spank you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, so, Brooke, are you saying say the last thing I said? Yeah. But I said, if God, if we were created in God's image, right? And God mm -hmm. said, love what I love, but I hate what I hate. If he hate homosexuality, if he hates sin, period. Why can't we love what he love and hate what he hate if we are created from his image? All right. So, yes, that's what, that's what I want to respond to. And um, I understand you. That's the reason why <clears throat> myself, I don't have a religion. I don't belong to a religion because it's all in how you interpret the Bible. So that is what you think that God is saying. But God didn't come out and like say that. That's an interpretation, right? That's where religion comes from, of how you interpret the Bible. Like, you can literally have your Dana J as a religion, Dana J Christians, okay? You're going to literally... Um, I'm sorry, True Strong. Yeah. We can have it again, True Strong. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to you literally have your own interpretation of what God would mean when he makes different statements, okay? Um, it's all about how you look at it, but I know God is not the God of chaos and confusion. He does not operate to that manner he does not bless mess at all so if hate is a part of mess doing all this extra stuff that is god is not present when that takes place the devil is that's his I, word not god all right so i'm gonna ask you this by you saying that what you're pretty much saying that god is a liar then no no, no. i said it's about I'm what a, you interpret can, can i'm gonna tell you why your own I'm, interpretation but i'm gonna tell you why i said that go ahead because you said God is not a God of chaos. That's true. But but when they was doing what they was doing, celebrating the golden calf, didn't he come and turn over all of the tables? Well, look, I'm going to say this on that behalf. Because oh, you can't duck. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't, I'm not no, turning the no, duck. I'm not no, duck. No, 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 don't duck and dodge now. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Because from my understanding, it was told that when... Um, Moses came down or whatever, and he and he saw them worshiping that golden calf. He was so mad that he threw down the tabernacles, which is the uh, commandments. He threw them down because he was so mad at his brother and sister and everybody else that was worshiping that calf. And he but I'm not like, even talking about at that time, Fantasia, but I'm talking about when Jesus did it. Well, Jesus is not God. Right. That's, that's nah. Who but knows that? Right. <laughs> But at the end of the day, check this out. Wait, wait, wait. If you read the Bible, but it says you, you can only get to God only through Jesus, right? Jesus okay, is not God. Is the, but wait, because if that's oh, the, Jesus is not yeah, God. Who is Joshua? No, is they said Joshua was the son of none. So if Joshua was the son of none, none means he is the son of nobody. So who was Joshua? Joshua was Jesus too then. You might as well say if he's the son of none. Well, you can't, you can't get well, I mean, Joshua can't be here. Joshua can't be Jesus. And because during the time that Jesus and was walking, but the J letter wasn't even there. I know it was why Yahshua Yahweh. I know. Yeah. yeah, that's why you. But that's why, first of all, in the scriptures, when it completely says nobody knows God's name because of the fact that if you know his name, you can command him to do things. No, that's not true. He can't. The 12 tribes of Israel, okay? This is from my grandfather, and I bull crap you not, okay? Literally, I'm not kidding around. I have books and stuff. Mm. And then my grandfather. We, we went from sex to Bible study. Let's go. Okay. Check this that's out. Check this out now, because now we going in. We finna go in. Let's go in, Dana. Come on now. Now, my grandfather told me, okay, that first of all, when it comes down to it, um, our creators are really the Anunnaki's. Those are the ones that are really our creators. Not only that, but when it comes to the name, the 12, uh, I, um, the name was different through the 12 tribes of Israel. And it's not because you could control him if you figure out his name. No, the thing about it is he wants you to get to know him. To get to know him. So this way, 
What in the world? Yeah, what is that? Sorry. That ain't from me. Let me hit the mute. That's God giving us a message right now. <laughs> it ain't so finish saying, Fantasia. Go ahead. For, 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 the, for the 12 tribes of Agonakis, go ahead. No, ain't no 12 tribes of Agonakis. Don't play with me, Dana. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> mm-hmm. No. So the 12, there's 12 tribes of Israel. That's the right, Monica. Okay. So with, hold on. How we go from sex to biblical? Right. <laughs> it be like that, though. But it be like that. So anyway, there's 12 tribes of Israel or whatever is what my grandfather told me. OK. And he said that basically the Anunnaki are the creators of them. So now when you have like um, the fallen and all this stuff like that, there's so many different things that are not directly in its right place at all. So you really have to read the books that I have. But I lost what I was going to say because I started laughing and stuff because they threw me off. Because he reminded me of when Levi was saying that that lady said uh, the Marcus was from Damascus. That had me dead in the mud. So I just lost my thought for a minute. Brian, you got something you want to say? Or Brooke? Because I lost my thought. I, this I got something to say. But it ain't, you know, I'm a, I'm a Christian man, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Hey, you Christian man. All I'm going to say is this. I don't got my, I listen to everybody. And all I'm going to say is this. All of Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. That's what I used to listen. That's the song he's used to sing when I was a little boy in church. And when that, but the thing about it is, I'm not going to say none of y'all wrong, because we really all don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We really all, and we really all don't know. So I don't really come at people when they say they get their religious viewpoints. Because, shoot, mm-hmm. I can be wrong. You know what I'm saying? And it's one thing to be a creep, but you got to, like, I'm getting better. You got to practice it, though. You got to practice what you preach. So if you out here preaching the word of God, it's supposed to be the word of God or whatever, right. just live by that close as possible. Don't be out here, don't be out here preaching one day, then cussing somebody else out. You know what I'm saying? The next day, just try to walk close as you can. And, you know what I'm saying? In his image. You know what I'm saying? But people don't do that anymore. Anyway. all right. <laughs> See, <laughs> that's why I say if I'm going to cuss somebody out, I'm going to do it and I'm going to put a little righteousness on it. What I mean by that is. Hey, that- Thank, thank, thank you, Yvette, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, what I mean by that is basically if a person is wrong and I'm about to scold them because I didn't sit there and kept telling them the stove is hot. The stove is hot. Don't touch. Don't touch. About that third or fourth time them touching or about them about to get ready and touch that stove, I done told them already, don't touch. It's hot. Now I'm about to scold you, so I'm going to put a little righteousness on it. Now you know better than that. You shouldn't have da, 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 da. You see what I'm saying? It's a different. <laughs> But so I got a question. Yeah, I got a question, right? And this is the question that I ask everybody that's in the church of them. And because you have, how can I put this? You have, um, you have the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, the Mormons. You have the Seven Day of Venice. You, you have those people that come knock on your door every day with the uh, long black ties and the white shirts and the black pants. And you got the Christians. You have the Israelites. You have the Muslims. You have the Buddhists. You have the Confucius. You have the Apostolic, the Baptists, the African Methodist Episcopal, and you have all of them, right? So question, if you got all of them together, how come all that Bible say just about the same thing, but 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 they all want to be claiming something else? Okay, so you really want to get into that? Wait a minute, hold on. Because you you're going to be a few minutes. Let me, let me say this. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, I think we're doing good. Shout out to everybody who was in the chat. And Dana, I'm proud of you, bro. We um doing different things. But let me just pick you back up that real quick. First of all, um Oh wait, 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 wait. I must say this a win for my guy Donald Trump. The the a Supreme Court just turned down Stormy Daniels lawsuit. Uh go ahead, Brooke. You know what? I'm not playing with you. Um okay. So as I was stating, um Usually when, when people, as you grow up, right? I know it says in the Bible, 
do not follow no other man but me. All right. I didn't realize what that meant until as or what I interpreted it to be as I got older. Meaning the religion. Religion is right, but it's man-made. Religion is man-made. Okay. It's it's not something that comes. It's, it's a person's um interpretation of what they believe the Bible is saying, and they're preaching it to others to have them have the same belief. That's number one. That's why I don't have a religion. And I call myself a kingdom builder and I say I'm spiritually grounded on that sense. Now, no one will know nothing 100% period. No one would never know nothing 100% period. So here's what it comes down to. It comes down to you need to get into the Bible and you need to read the Bible yourself to get your own interpretation of what you think it means. And you also need to go on how you're feeling when you read it or when things happen and when transpires and when you ask God for things, you look out, he asks you, you'll say, okay, um, God, give me a sign. When you see the sign, don't ignore it. That's Which why the- listen and see how you feel about it. That's how you can guess whether or not what is what because who, who to say that the Bible is fact? It, I heard it's missing pieces of the Bible. It's missing books that we haven't even seen. Yet. Ooh, bro. Ooh, shit. Wait a minute. <laughs> don't, don't cuss. I'm sorry, but Brooke just, oh, man. Okay. All right. There's books that we haven't even seen or read. I, I want to know where it's at because I want to read it. But at the end of the day, um, when I decided to, to do what we call this non-domination, when I decided to do that, um, I got a little bit of flat from a little bit of people, not a lot, but then once I broke down the understanding, they understood where I was coming from because I definitely broke down the Trinity. That What is that? No, it's not one. God. Jesus is not God. God is not Jesus. Okay. And the spirit is not neither of them. God is God. Jesus is Jesus. And the spirit is the spirit. It ain't so time God. out. So, so, so time out. But the Trinity is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, right? right. Correct. But what they're, So how can you say it's not a Trinity? Holy. Right. What I'm saying is, that's how, when people say the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, that is them saying that Jesus is God. And it's not. That, that's what they mean. When they say that, they mean that they're saying that Jesus is God. Can you show me that he's not? What do you mean? God wasn't a human. He What, what is God? God wasn't a human. Jesus was a human form. But wait, but Jesus wait, was God's but wait. Son. if you read the Bible, didn't, di- matter of fact, I'm going to go here. Different Bibles give you different translations uh, of that. One Bible say God put himself in human form. Another Bible say God sent his only begotten son. The whole, there. the whole narrative is, which one do you believe? So, so now do you understand where I'm coming from when I say is there different things and it's all about how we interpret it to be? That's I've a prime been, example of what you just said. I've been understood, but I'm giving you an argument from the people that, that would contest that. Well, here's the thing. When I read when I read the Bible and I read about Jesus and when I read about what things are, I clearly understand the difference between God, Jesus, and the Spirit. I may not be able to verbally explain it um, because you know the terminology is not really there, but I understand mm-hmm. it if that makes sense. Because there there is an Old Testament before Jesus was even born, right? And right. is that correct? Okay, right. so before Jesus even came. So what you mean? Like God was already here. I'm not understanding. That's that's what I'm saying. So I have a question. Mm. If you can understand that there is three factions, why can't you understand that there is a Trinity? And and a Trinity is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, which, which means it's three separate entities. Because you got the Father, which which is God, and you got the Son, which is Jesus, and you got the Comforter, and what Jesus died. He left, which is the Holy Ghost. So how can you not understand that that's the Trinity? Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not, um, maybe I'm not conveying it correctly. When, when people say, when, from my knowledge, when people say things about the Trinity, to my understanding, and I could be wrong, so please correct me. Okay. What I'm getting from them is that they're saying that Jesus is God. 
No. That's what I'm saying. No. Okay, so if that's not what they're saying, then I take that back because that was my understanding that when people say the Trinity, you know, they go to Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, mm-hmm. that they're saying that Jesus is God. Jesus is one. Like, if you, you can't, you can't worship God if you can't worship Jesus and vice versa. That's what I'm thinking. So if that's mm-hmm. not true, then I'll get that out of my brain. But I thought that that was true. That was all. So now, nah, um, pretty much when they talk about that, but they talking about the um, but they talking about for the Trinity, and they saying that they are acknowledging that it's three separate beings, <laughs> but but with it being three separate beings. They also acknowledge the fact that it all comes from one. Yes. Okay. So I'm about to piggyback off this real quick. Okay. I got it. Thank you. I understand now. Thank you, Dana. Right. Okay. I'm no problem. Listening. No problem. Now, Dana, what you're saying is the exact same thing that I grew up from my my elders, as far as my from my tribe. They was explaining to me that basically the son the father and the holy ghost is actually goes down like this okay they say that it's supposed to go um woman man woman so the reason why that was is basically because i was taught that eve was the one who was actually first it wasn't adam that was first no. Eve gave birth to Adam is no. what I was taught. No. That on, is, that's finish. not true. Wait, you know let, that me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on. Let me finish. I'm just saying what I was taught. I didn't say that I fully believed it or anything. I just okay. said this is what I was taught. So when it comes to that, as far as the son, the Holy Ghost and stuff like that, certain churches that I've actually entered as a child, they could not explain to me what the Holy Ghost was. Then I kind of saw, you know, certain stuff going down and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to this church. Then you got church hopping. Then they finally broke it down to me what the Holy Ghost was. And it was exactly what you were saying, Dana, and in the way that you broke it down and the way that Brooke broke it down. So I was just basically saying, thank y'all for breaking that down because the way that I was taught was different. It was woman first, then um, man, then, you know what I'm saying, woman or whatever, however, like, Eve was actually first and she gave birth to Adam because they said that it was um, a tribe that was actually able to reproduce on their own, which is AKA why we have the Eve gene. Melanated women are the only women that have the Eve gene. Well, let's go here. How can Eve be first when, when the scriptures clearly said that God put Adam to sleep and took a rib out of Adam and made Eve. And when Adam woke up, he said, I know it's good. So, so once you go through your teachings and you can just dispel certain stuff, some people say things that sound convincing. Right. But then it goes even further because it's like, is DNA genetically impossible for a person to be, you know what I'm saying? Born from a bone. Is it? It's not, because if that's the case, they wouldn't have clones. Well, that's not true. How do you think you get a clone? That's what I said, the bone marrow. I'm agreeing with you, but right. I was, I'm, you get what I'm saying. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because you get a clone from the bone marrow, so Exactly, yeah. right, that's what I'm saying. So you see, there's, like Brooke said, there's so many ways and so many things that people do need to actually gravitate to the bible too and actually take in and try to decipher but if you could get a teacher that's gonna help you i would suggest people do so but just be cautious of the teacher you know what i'm saying at the end of the day the bible says study thyself to show thyself approved church church is nothing but a place where you go and gather amongst your brethren for strength and congregation and congregation right so my thing is this <clears throat> a lot of stuff I'm not even understanding like like now that I think about it tithes a lot of people say oh yeah and you give God your 10 percent I don't mind doing it I've been doing it for years but when I look at tithes tithes was an old testament story now the new testament they ain't talking about tithes See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like these are these are conversations these are conversations that I think churches should have instead of going in and, and 
and what oh we call it bucking mm -hmm. but instead of just going in shouting and oh god is good no sit down and teach sometimes so i would say if you can get under if you can get under a pastor that's well-rounded but that teaches you that preaches to you that dance with you that got good singing that's where you should be because with with stuff like that even if you're wrong or you're doing stuff wrong it's going to force you to change it's going to force you to change and it's not something that somebody gotta do like oh no oh you gotta change and be in my church no you're, what you're going to do is you're going to look at the walk and you're going to be like, this ain't even for me no more. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? But a lot of people think, oh, this person is homosexual. So I got to force them to change. You cannot force nobody to change. And the Bible says, bring them into the storefront. And when you bring them into the storefront, then the word shall convict them to change. Mm -hmm. So where is it at? where the word is saying you have to change that person. And then the other thing that get me is why do we got to stay inside the church all the time? I thought we were supposed to go win souls. You ain't going to win souls sitting inside of a building. Hey, real quick. Um, Malik wanted to say something real quick. But I, I confirmed it, but go ahead. Say what you were saying. So religion is mad at me. Yeah. Yeah, it's man-made. It's, it's, it's a perspective. John the Baptist, that's where you get Baptists from. The, the purpose of religion is a person's interpretation of what they believe that the Bible is saying. So me and Dana, like we can literally, Dana could have his own religion. It could be the Dana J religion, seriously. And it's all about how he reads. I want that blood on my hand. Listen, you already got a, a, a stalking squad, but <laughs> neither, neither to you know, it's religion is man made, it's man based. I know this, I was saying this because I thought you heard me from the beginning when you said about the translation of the Bible, hence, i.e., the other two thirds of the Dead Sea Scrolls that has yet to been translated that gives you the differences in the Bible. Mm. So it's still missing mm. after the translation because you're right, some hasn't been already translated. So you mm. got that that hasn't been translated, and you still got missing books. There's still Bruh, missing books. Have yeah. you read have you read um the book of Adam and Eve? Um no, I haven't. But what I did do, I, I did read Genesis. I read the whole Bible, the book, the whole verse of Genesis in the Bible. I, I noticed as I said here. Okay. In the I heard book. about Adam. I heard about Eve. I don't think anyone mentioned Joseph and Mary. What about but Joseph and Mary? How come no one called Jesus by his name? Joshua or Yahweh? Oh, there we go. For a minute, I was wondering how come nobody called him by his name. Some people know. And some people don't know. Right. And for clarity, he's not the son of Jesus. I mean, of God. He's a prophet. Okay. Well, that's important to Allah. He's a prophet. So you can't say that he's yes, a prophet. No, no, no. That is according to Allah. That is according, according to the Muslim faith that Jesus was a prophet. Listen. No, no, no. You know I'm saying it right because guess what? Let me tell you. Do you want me to tell you where... The nation of Islam, do you want me to tell you where the Muslim faith came from? It came from Christianity. I'm talking about, listen, I didn't have this. Now, you ain't going to be able to tell Brooke, me about you're that. not lying. I'm about to back you up on that, Brooke. I'm backing you up on that, Brooke. Yeah, that's The Muslim faith came yep. from Christianity. Okay. It sure did. It sure did. Yes, it did, Brooke. I'm backing you up on that. Two things that's different, but it's similar. And one at a time. One, one at a time. Pardon me. So now she said it's similar. It is. So, and I, I'm gonna make this real simple and quick. Cause I, I, I know she ain't messing with me. Boy. <laughs> Islam was first. No, it's not. 
it's no, it's not. Christianity no. is first. Yep, it sure is. is no, Christianity first. wasn't first. Yes, it was and no, no Islam yes, it wasn't first. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it yes, wasn't. It was. Okay. I'm going to break it down and I'm going to give it to you. Our merit was first. No, no, no. We're talking about which one came first Ms. between the Muslim faith and Christianity. Our merit was first. Is, is, is Miss Fantasia on here? Yeah, everybody on there. Okay. Miss Fantasia. my phone? It's ringing. You seem to be one who does a lot of research, right? Yes, you I do. Get on your phone and gurgle a movie called <laughs> Night Dice. No, you can't look at movies and get information. I read that out of a book. You ain't getting no. that out of the movie. Brooke. Come on, Brooke. Yes, you can, because movies do tell a lot. You got to learn how to read between lines when it comes to a lot of things. You got to remember, this matrix, Brooke, is broken. So if you don't know how to read between the lines on a daily basis, you Yeah, gonna- I do, but I'd rather, I'd rather read a book than to go by the movie. But you have to go by the what? movies because the movies are the ones that's going to give you more depth. They're going to give you more of the, the stuff that the books don't give you. Because you got to remember, a book can't yeah. go, 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 go long. Okay. In, in the documentary, Zion, 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 it tells you how mm-hmm. they made in Christianity his birthday Christmas. Okay, so you, you want me to read this here? It's 10, it's either 10 or 12 mm-hmm. of a kings and prophets of a notable basis who had the same birthday. Okay. Christianity was in the first century. You C- can't cut nobody C- off, Brooke. He, he, Islam was in the seventh century. Brooke. C- e. Don't tell me something that I know for a fact. What's C.E.? C.E. You said Christianity was when? In the first century. What's C.E. said what do you mean? It was, it's before Christ. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Wouldn't that be BC? Listen, what I'm saying to you. One comes before seven. If Christianity was first and the Islam faith was seventh, what, that's what, what we're talking about. I, Don't try to switch the flip the narrative. What does CE stand for? Oh, Brooke? Let me find out. Okay, wait. BC is not before Christ. BC is before the Caucasian. I'm just saying. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> what the I world? Yo, yes, where is, is people getting this stuff from? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm going to tell you what it means right Father now. Father God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, what the? Yeah, you know, and you know, I'm about to go get Levi to help Malik. Hold on. Common Hold error. On. Hold on. The common error. That's what CE means. The common error. So, what they're saying is that Christianity was first. In the first century common era, the Islam faith came seventh, which I know that to be fact, because like I said, I had the damn class. So I had to do all this research in reference to religion, because I had to understand Christianity came first. And the person left the Christianity faith, and he went and he interpreted himself what he believed the Bible to be. That is why they still believe in Jesus. They just don't think that he's Jesus' son. They just think that he's a prophet and that he is not God. That is one of the major differences in the Islam faith and Christianity. It's not too many things that is different. The faiths are damn near almost alike in a lot of places. A lot of stuff. That's a husband and wife situation. I don't get into that. I don't overstep my boundaries. No, that's a person who don't know common sense basic stuff. No, no, because no. Islam is not a religion. It's a way of life. It's, wait, do you really want to have this conversation right now? Because I'm trying to tell you something I know for fact. Right, well, okay, Fantasia and Dana, we're going to have this conversation right now. Now, pardon me for this F-bomb. We ain't going to catch that. I'm going to go put this button here and go put this $1,000 down. And Malik needs your help. We're going to put the $1,000 down on you my money. Cook right now. It's $100 of your money. I said, and if I'm you tell me Malik. to a religion to which I study that Islam is not a way of but life, you did it. You study you for the no, no. You study Islam. That's not, out. see, you're going, you going overboard. What we're saying, what I'm saying is Christianity came before the Islamic faith. It, it is Islam came from Christianity. That's what I'm saying. You going into something that's so totally didn't have nothing to do with what came first, the chicken or the egg. Well, I'm asking, what came first, the chicken or the egg? What came first, the chicken or the egg? The Christianity came first. 
the Islamic faith came afterwards, because there's other faiths that came even in between that that came before the Islamic faith as well. That's all I was saying. I'm not talking about like literally. You're trying to go into major details. That's not what I'm saying. What you said is that they have a lot of similarities. They do. And you said the number one, uh, the number one difference is on who believes about. Uh, Islam doesn't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Correct. They believe he's a prophet. <clears throat> they believe that he was a prophet. And I said to you. The number one difference is not. Okay, well, it's, I said it's a couple. And I said to you, it's not a couple. Islam is a way of life. It has nothing to do with a religion. Islam, is Islamic. So you mean to tell me that that's not considered a religion? I'm it's, confused. It's a way of life. So it's and not considered a religion. Answer that question. That's yes or no. A religion. Religion is man-made. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did not do it. I did not do it. I am not gonna have Malik in the doghouse. I'm letting them talk. That's a husband and wife thing. Look, look, Dana ain't do nothing. We ain't gonna do that one. It's no. We always be talking. It's no we like to be. because you don't know what you speak. I know what I'm talking about, Malik. You're you see you're you see what you're doing is you are. You you basically just took off running. You ain't even start crawling. You go into something that has nothing to do with what I'm saying about where it stemmed from. You're going into what's being practiced. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how it was created. You're going into what's in it and what's being practiced. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where did it come from? Because it had to originate from somewhere. Where did it come from? It's man-made. It's a man-made thing. Somebody went, a person, the head of the Islamic people, he left Christianity and because he didn't agree 100% with what the person was saying. And then he went and created his own idea of what he believes the Islamic faith is. That's where it came from. That's what I'm saying to you. That's the, you, don't get, you don't understand that part? Bro, I understand where you're coming from. You're making sense. Oh, I just want to make sure I'm making sense. Okay. Yeah, you making sense, Brooke. I know what you're saying because it goes deeper than what you're saying, too. But you hit the hammer right, right on the nail. You hit it right on the nail because a lot of people also believe that um, after after pretty much the Bible was deciphered into different uh, languages from the different <laughs> cultures, it was passed through, but just called something different. Like, of course, like she said, the Quran and so forth and so on. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they said also it was supposed to be meant to enslave um, our ancestors from like Haiti and stuff because the masters were scared because they was doing voodoo and all this stuff like that. So they gave them that to try to stop them from worshiping their deities and their gods because you got to remember when you read the Bible, you also got to remember that it's not really, it's not always just fully telling our story. It's really telling you where the, ca the uh, Caucasians come from. They also say like the Caucasians come from the Caucasus Mountains. So hey, when, yeah. Do you know Arabs are Caucasian, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm I don't understand. Caucasian. Listen, so I don't understand when people, you know, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, you know what the Islam, you know the, you know, the pe the Muslim people enslaved Africans before, you know what I'm saying? Other people started doing this. You know this, right? Oh Lord. So, um if you go in history, that's how you got a lot of African, like Muslim African countries, but they was enslaved. Well, yeah, they doing Probably. it. They're still doing it. They still. Yeah. They still okay. Using so, so my, my question. No, but too. my, but my question to be is this: People talk bad about Christianity over their other religions, but I'm like, if those people, you know, what I'm saying, who started religion, still doing the enslaving to those, you know, what I'm saying, those people, why do black people think they Muslims? Uh oh. Because they don't know nine times out of well, ten, they're going to a whole nother situation. They now, yeah, because now you're going back into slavery. It, they was tricked. You see what I'm saying? You got to remember. No, no, that's not what happened. Let me read this this question real quick. Most All of them roots go back further. Hey, bro. Although, let me read this real quick. Although its roots go back further, scholars typically date the creation of Islam to the seventh century, making it the youngest of the major world religions. Islam started in Mecca in modern day 
Saudi Arabia during the time of the Prophet Muhammad's life. Do everybody, I mean, do, do everybody agree or disagree? No, I, just, I, just, I, know I know this already. I know, I know this already with um with that religion. I just tell people, like you know, I I respect people's beliefs, but I always just wonder how is a black person calling themselves Muslim? Because when you talk about the nation, those they don't the Muslims over there don't even consider. You know what I'm saying? You know the the, the nation over here really Muslim. Okay, you know so Britain, not to cut you off, but if you if you ever get a chance, get your hands on the Quran, and it's gonna tell you mm-hmm. so you open up the first two pages. Okay, read them first two pages. It's gonna tell you and explain to you how they was tricked. Our ancestors was tricked through a lot of different things. Okay, this is why we are scattered so much, and this is why we don't know stuff and why we lost because we. We was scattered. We was tricked. We was bamboozled. What the fuck else do you want me to say? <laughs> can, I, can I rebuttal real quick, Fantasia? Now, you know in the Bible also that uh, God did separate the people because of the behaviors that the people had. Um, he had threatened to destroy. He threatened to destroy the world, but instead of destroying the world, he separated the people because they weren't acting like they were supposed to act in decency and order. So that's why a group of peoples were placed in different areas with different religions and different backgrounds at that time, back then, when everything was being assembled as far as in with our people. That's why you have Asians. That's why you have African-Americans. That's why you have Africans. That's why you have uh, people who are from different Country, bro, bro, you do realize, right, that we was here way before the Caucasians came from out that goddamn. Uh, no, no, no. I'm out. talking about, I'm talking about way before that. I'm talking about back in the Bible time. Okay, but okay, bro, this is listen to what I'm telling you, though. Okay, it's a book. It's it's a couple books in my library. I I want you to grab, and I'm if you got some books, let me know so I can read them too, because I love research. But the first book I want you to get is Stolen Legacy, okay, by Gregory M. James. The second book I want you to get is, hold on, Black Civilization. Let me see. Yeah, The Destruction is called The Destruction of Black Civilization, okay? It says, the great issues of a race from 45,000 B.C. to 2000 A.D. and so forth and so on is by... um, Chancellor Williams, okay? It's a couple other books I want you to get as well. But these are some good books. They're going to break it down because, like I was telling you, before before the Caucasians was released from them Caucasus Mountains, and in, even in that Bible, it'll tell you about the Caucasus Mountains. This is why they taken so they have taken so many of the Bibles, and they don't want you to get your hands on them to read. But I have the ones that they that they took. I have. They are very old in my basement from my grandparents, trickled down through oh, yeah. generations. I'm this like, like do do? full version. Don't you have like the King James? I have all of those. I have all of those. You have more than than, than than the King James and everything. Like the book of Adam and Eve, you see, they don't tell you nothing about that no more. But when they give you the New Testament, it busts you down all the way from the beginning. But yes, wait sir. a minute. You see oh, what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you how many Bibles you got in one. Now let me ask you a question. Do anybody know who is who, do you do anybody know what role that Gabriel played in the Muslim or the Islamic faith? Gabriel, the archangel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gabriel, Say that one more time, Brooke. I said, do anybody know what role that angel Gabriel played to the Islamic faith? Gabriel didn't play no role to the Islamic faith. What are you talking yes, about? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, my Jesus. Yes, he did. So what role did Gabriel play, bro? Gabriel was the person <clears throat> who revealed the information to Muhammad. What? <clears throat> Gabriel and Muhammad is two different time frames. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's not. Islamic teaches that Allah's word was revealed to the prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel. 
Oh my God. You didn't know that? That's two different time frames, Brooke. No, it's not. Uh, and my thing is this, man. and my thing is this, I'm gonna go here. You can't adapt what happened in the Christian faith and steal it and put it in Islam faith. But that's what the Islam faith did, is what I'm saying. So basically that's Islam where they came from. So basically Islam is nothing more than a guarantee than a glorified um than a glorified b- belief of Christianity, if you're gonna go yes. that route. That's, that's what true. she's saying, and that's, she's, that's right. True. she's right. That's true. It's, it's true, it's true. That's they, right. they, very true, it's true. That is true. The right? Islamic faith is nothing but Christianity. Yes, but it's, but yes. it's just a mass religion. Correct. Yes. You got it. Bingo. Yeah, that's that's correct. One hundred percent. Because when they tell don't you, even know that. Right. And we see Gabriel honestly. And the way it's betrayed that Gabriel came and talked to Joshua. That's how Joshua knew and was confirmed that um, that um, Mary and was going to be pregnant because of Gabriel. Hello. Can I ask you a Go ahead. I did a I lot of research. Go, I'm sorry. It was good. Thank you for the panel. I got to go. Yeah, you got to go to work. Yep. Bye. Have a good day, my love. Have a it good was day. Good talking to you. If, y'all again, books, if y'all do have any books or research things that, that um y'all think will be good for me, let me know and put them Thank in the chat. I would surely appreciate that. Thank y'all. Fanny Pat, can you yeah. text me the name of those two books, please? Yes. Okay. Okay. But yeah, um, yeah, it, it's a lot. A lot of people don't know about about religion, period, and where it came from. You have Hindu. That's the world's largest religion. The oldest, Hindu. the first. No, no Hinduism yeah. can't be the world's largest. I promise you, it is. How? How you gonna promise me Hinduism is the world's hey, largest? Look at that, bro. Look at that. This is crazy. I'm finna Google it right now. I'm look. I'm listen. I promise you. I had a class at Morgan with this. Well, Professor, I forgot what his dad name was. Brooks. He made I'm sure we read. Brooks. He made sure we read this stuff. This stuff that, is one of the things. Just because you had a professor at Morgan. Your professor, matter of fact, both of us went to Morgan, but you can't just say that his word is bond. No, 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 no. He didn't tell me anything. I read it out of a book. I didn't, and he didn't tell us that. But who, as of right now, who wrote the book? Christianity. Um, Christianity so Christianity wrote the book of Christianity? No, 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 no. Christianity, I was going to say what was like far as in a percentage. But at the time that we was reading this stuff and going over this, I could have sworn when I read about the Hinduism, Hindus, that was the world at that time, largest um, religion. Everything split off. Everything split off. And that's why you got different names for different religions. Okay, but who wrote the book that you read? Um, It was a scholar. It was like one of those like African-American, not African-American, but it was like... Because um, Brooks, where Christianity, they, okay, Christianity is the biggest religion. Say it again. Christianity, Christianity, Christ, Christianity is the biggest religion. Correct. Yes, oh. it is. The, um, no, but religion. you just said Hinduism, bro. No, no, no. Yeah. Right. I say, and I corrected myself, and I say I meant back at that. No, time you when just I was corrected that, yourself. But, right. Well, listen, you, you stop playing with me. All right, I'm trying to get it out. You're not listening. Christianity is now, yes, the biggest religion. At the time that we was doing the research in reference to this, Hinduism was on top. Hinduism was another was the top religion at the time that I was doing this research. Okay, that was years ago. Years, years ago. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Let me ask you a question. Because you know, this there's more Christians than Hindu Hindu people, right? So it's like they dub they dub no, but you know what I'm saying. So that means they don't grew a billion in almost two billion, almost two billion people over Hinduism in that time since you went to school. I don't believe that. Well, That's a lot here's of the thing. Maybe, maybe I may be saying it incorrectly. You, you know, I like to correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't have a problem with being correct. Like that incorrectly. No. What I'm saying is, 
you say shit all the time incorrectly, okay? If I, I don't. Say it's wrong. Yes, you do. If I if I say it's wrong, or if I correct myself, then I can correct myself. It's okay to correct myself. But, but prove me that I'm wrong when I say I'm wrong. The story, more of the story is, okay, where did all of these, or where did the Islamic faith come from? Christianity, okay? And as of right now, 2020, I think the last time they did it, Islam is underneath Christianity. Christianity is first, and then it's Islam, and then it's um, unaffiliated, and then it's uh, Hinduism. <clears throat> so I think I may have gotten it confused where I said that it's the world's um, largest. At that time, no. I meant to say not largest, but first. Hinduism was the first religion. Let me sure I correct myself. Hold on. Let me double check. Make sure, but I think that's what I saw. Hold on. <laughs> this is the type of stuff I like to talk about because I got a little bit of background in it. Just a little bit. My first religion. <laughs> it would be Hinduism. But let me double check. Yep, Hinduism. There we go. That's what I got. I'm sorry. I got it confused. Hinduism is the world's oldest religion, according to many scholars with roots and customs dating back more than 4,000 years today about 900 million followers. Hinduism is the third largest region behind Christianity and Islam. Roughly 95% of the world's Hindu live in India. So yeah, it, it was the first. My bad. I thought it was the uh, biggest. Don't kill me. <clears throat> if anybody wants to look at the timeline of religion, all you have to do is type in Google timeline of religion. And you'll be able to go and look. You can even put it in Google Fox, 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 Go. You can put it in there and see what it pulls up and gives you the information in reference to the timeline of how religion was created, what is religion, what came first, what came second, what came third, and so on and so on. Hey, hey bro. Well. Hey, oh, no, Dana, let me ask you a question. If I'm not trying to bash. I'm not bashing on religion because I see when people when they talk about religion, people get touchy. I just want to know, you know what I'm saying? Because when you like, you know the NOI, right? The, the nation, you know what I'm saying? The nation of Islam, right? Okay. It, they don't have really nothing to do with Islam. So <laughs> when they and it was created in Detroit, Michigan, it was founded. Well, we're, we're talking about back in the day. We're talking no, 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 about no, 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 no. Listen, I understand what you're saying, but. You got like you got the group that group over here, right? Then you got the the, the Muslims. Yeah, yeah. If you read the Muslim, like they, what they did in their slave trade before the mm-hmm. transatlantic slave trade, mm-hmm. I still don't understand how black people calling themselves Muslim. I want my need. I need an explanation about this. Nobody You're can ever give an answer about it. Are you talking about like the Muslims in this day and age? You're talking about no, 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 because no, I know the ones over Muslim. here. I know, what are you talking about? I know the ones that's over here. They're different from the ones, you know what I'm saying? The ones over there. Correct. But the the thing, my issue with the ones over there is they if they know their history and they, they taught their history, I don't understand how you follow, you know what I'm saying? Certain things, because Africa have their own traditional, you know what I'm saying? They still okay, have no. their religion. You know, they still have their traditions there. We in America, right. they, okay. they stripped it from ours. So I if they you. have their history over there, how do you still follow that religion, knowing what they did to you to you to follow that religion? Well, maybe, maybe Malik can answer that question because he did a lot of research and like he's he did a lot of studying within the religion, so he knows a lot about their teachings, their followings, and how you know what their beliefs are. Because that brings you back over you here. You hear what I said? You hear what I said, bro? But that brings you back here. If those Muslims over there don't consider the NOI. Muslims like that. You understand what I'm saying? And it's more of an African, it's like a national group. It's like a group more than anything, right? Then how do you preach the word to some people that don't believe, you understand what I'm saying? And what you're doing over there. It it goes back to what I just said from the beginning. Religion is created man-made. Okay, so so we could have been on the same time, right? It was, listen, what they did was, and I understand what you're saying, what they did was, they wanted to replicate that particular faith here within the United States. It's the same thing, but they took some of the stuff and they took it to make it their own here. 
So it, it works the same way with religion. You got, you know who John the Baptist is, right? Yeah, no, but it, no, this is um, the reason I'm asking you these questions because if those people put it like this, you know, if we go around the world, Christians usually are receptive, you know what I'm saying? Other uh, Christian, no matter what denomination you is, mm -hmm. they, you know what I'm saying? You can walk up in the church and it'd be like, I'm, I'm Pentecostal, right? But I can go in the right. Southern Baptist Church and nobody say nothing. And we, you know what I'm saying? We're doing the same stuff. They just call, to me, call it something different. They do it in a little different way. But right. over there, they don't consider them, you understand what I'm saying? The same as them. Even though we're here, we consider each other Christians. We know we got different denominations, but we don't move like that. We still, you understand what I'm saying? It's still different than how they right. do it. And I'm like, so how do you claim something that they don't even claim you? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> You, just that's what I'm saying. you can't say that they don't claim them because it's all about perception and what they're getting from the religion. They are creating it here and what they believe is. So even though over there they don't believe that they are religions, well, some people may not believe that you got some Africans who are Christian. Yeah, but no, and that's what Christian I'm over here, right? So but, I can't believe they're Christian. That don't make I mean I get what you're saying. I, it's more of an interpretation of the actual religion is what's going to make the difference about what you're saying. They're interpreting it from there. That's where they're gathering the information from. Like, if for an example, but I'm going to go back to it all, right? What if I'm you tweak it? To, I'm sorry, I'm right, sorry. You're tweaking say, it, correct. You're tweaking it's it what, as if it's your own. But if you're tweaking it into your own, that means you, you're, it's almost a false representation of the original. Well, that's why I say I don't believe in religion because it's man-made. It's a person's interpretation. That's why I say that. Because how can I look at one person and one people and they say, all right, we this. And then I look at another person and say, we this. And then I look at another person and say, we this. That's all in a man's interpretation. And John the Baptist is a prime example. John the Baptist okay. is Christian, right? It's, it's a part of Christianity, but he's one person who separated himself and created his own intimate, like his own little gathering. And that's where the Baptist people come from. The Baptist Church of this. Uh, Good, Morning, Good Morning American Baptist Church. It's an interpretation of that particular person, the prophet, whomever is going to be taking over that religion. It is their interpretation of how they want to follow the bottle, the Bible. That's the difference. So you got to look at it in the same sense as to the Islamic stuff. So you got the Islamic people who are over there, right? And then you got the ones who are here. They, the ones who are here, they literally did their research because it's very similar, but they came here, not them came here, but the people here took it, re did it however they wanted to do it, and then kept it similar to some sense and then bring it here to use as a religion here. You get what I'm saying? Well, no, but I understand that. But you have people from Muslim descent from over there, over here. So why you just can't practice the same thing they practice? Because everybody has their own interpretation of the Bible. So you, hold on. I, no, but I know. But the thing about it is, so you remix it into your favor, correct? Correct. That's where, that's where the names come from. But so that means... No, no, but I'm just saying, because all I'm saying, all I'm getting at with this is this. When, when, even with the religion talks or whatever, because every, every a lot of people get their panties in a bunch of, up, you know what I'm saying, about religion. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's all your interpretation. But it just, some people, I just think it take it too far. That's it. You ever, I agree. I agree, <laughs> so that's, And that's why I tell people, you like, you know, even when it comes talking about God and certain stuff, I know everybody mm -hmm. don't believe in God. So I'm not finna, you understand, you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't even talk about it because I don't know what that man really is. Now, if we are like minds, that's different. Yeah. But if I know we're not like minds, I don't like that. You don't start talking about certain things because some people look at you different. Yeah. But how you feel I about mean. it, though? And that's, I, you know, I know Dana pretty sure, but Dana could talk to you about the Bible all day. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And somebody could talk yeah, to you about the Quran. But I'm like, if you follow it, if everybody was going literally what the word said, it'd be different. But it's a whole bunch of remixing out here. So it makes yeah. it pretty much, it makes it almost all the false doctrine in a way. When you adopted it into what you wanted to be. They rewrote well, the Bible. They rewrote a lot of stuff. But don't, but, correct. And, so that's, it's like, and, <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons the why I say that I'm independent or a kingdom builder, meaning non-domination. I just read the Bible. I listen to all. What is um, a kingdom and builder? I come up with my own interpretation. So. What is a kingdom builder? A kingdom builder is a person who is spiritual. They believe in what God has said. They believe in the Bible. They believe in the Quran. They believe in the spirit. They believe in what they feel after they have read and got messages from God. Is 
I don't have a religion. Where can I find that breakdown at? Um, even type in Kingdom Builder, it may come up there. But it's a so basically, you just made up your own ideology, my own, of it. my own religion, I guess. Yeah, my own name for my own religion, Kingdom Builder. Yeah. All right. She's a prophet, ain't I? I've, I've sat back and I listened. Oh, for the woman, cannot be a prophet. I know. I'm being facetious, sir. Just like a woman cannot be a bishop. Yeah, I don't fault like I was taught we, we never went to church and women was the head at. I, I sat back and I listened. So I listened. Um I think I said a long time ago, if I did not reiterate, religion and politics are two topics that you're gonna have numerous opinions and numerous viewpoints and in a sense, you can't have a right and a wrong because it's your own personal viewpoint as an individual and nobody can tell you how to <clears throat> bond with your creator or whomever you see as your creator. Right. Right. And with that being said, um, I'm going to say this. I noticed somebody mentioned about how you have so many different sects is what the proper terminology is called in the Islamic community. But as I said in the beginning, Islam is not a religion. And if you look at it, it tells you it's a way of life because you have to follow by said rules in order to be considered a Muslim who is on his deen versus said other religions, there's no rules to follow if you have it, so to speak. Because I've seen a Christian walk out the church, smack into the bar, and vice versa. I've seen a Muslim do the same thing. And vice versa. That doesn't necessarily <coughs> pardon me, not make him a Muslim. See, like I said before, a lot of people have gotten caught up in what seems to be the new next thing. Meaning everybody that ran out here and brought true religion is still a pair of dungarees, B. It's still blue jeans. If you meet Tasha in the club, she don't know you got on true religion. She know you got on dungarees. It's the same thing. We get caught up in the hoopla and not our personal beliefs. We are the, probably the most easiest guided group of people I've ever seen. You got the person can come around the corner and tell you, oh boy, you know, bop, 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 boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah? Okay. And, it, and the first chance you get around the corner, you reciting the same information that you was told. You ain't even researched it. I, I don't realize, or I don't know if people have realized, but when when the coronavirus came out, they told you Moderna and Pfizer were the two companies that made the virus. And I mean, the, the vaccine and one vaccine, you have to take two shots and one vaccine is one shot. And they said that if the one shot vaccine works, we know what we're going to go with. And I don't think a lot of people caught the word they said or the terminology. They said it's a placebo. Which means I've given you nothing to cure what you have. But in your head, what I gave you cured what you had. Or clinical term, a sugar pill. How was that? How was somebody going to clearly tell you that the vaccine I'm giving you to which has no remnants of the illness it's trying to cure? None. Zero. And you're going to run back and say, oh, this vaccine cured me. But yet, we want to sit here and worry about if Caucasian or European 
you got Europeans and Caucasians, you have Indians, you have Indians and Indi Indian religious ages that are Muslim. That's that's they choose to take that walk. It's nothing wrong with the the the, the Christian religion for some people. It's what works for you. I'm not here to judge nobody on that religion, nor on your uh, political party you choose to join. But back to what you said, Brent, a lot of black folks lean towards Islam because it gives you a sense of structure. It gives you a sense of premise. It made everybody in America run around here and grow a beard. Not me. I'm against that shit. You have folks running around here growing beards. Everybody won't be big beard gang. <laughs> Real talk. And the funniest part about it is people do not realize that in the Muslim world, <clears throat> You are to cut your mustache, but groom thy beard. So it really looks funny when you have no hair on your lip, but you got a big beard. So that's what your belief is? And you got no, a that, that's that's facts. See, to be Muslim, it has really less to do with the Quran. The Quran is just a religious book for that religion. But it's a lot of things that people don't believe. If you don't do the other things, they totally, they totally negate the fact that you're Muslim. Hmm. Like, hence, when you go to the bathroom, you are to never to touch your penis with your right hand. It should always be your left hand. How are you going to tell me how to... How what? There you go. See, there you go. I mean... But it, I'm right-handed, yo. though. I'm right-handed, though. That's not fair. Man, look. Ain't nobody gonna tell me what I can't touch my <laughs> private parts with. You lost your mind. If you notice, the next time you watch a person that's Muslim, they never eat with their left hand. I don't like watching people. That's scary to me. That's a next, that's some next level stuff, bro. That's, that's if, like, man. Yeah, but that's some stuff that I would never do. If you ever watch their wife, the wife walks four paces behind. That's bull crap. And because a man or a woman is not unequally yoked, they are equal together. So why can't you walk together? In the Muslim religion, she walks four paces behind. That's why I be saying sometimes that's, that's a real, like when they talk about sexist, that's sexist as hell. Why would a woman want to follow that? That's mental slavery, too. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of jacked up. If we can't they equal, you know, um, you know, they get, you know, I don't understand that. That's kind of I don't. Up for real. I don't want a woman that that I can't be equal with. The reason, the reason why your friend will never see under Hakima is because How? no what? one ever know what your your wife looks like. Who wife Muslim? No, that's what the 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 garment that the women wear is called the kima. That's so what hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. If that's the case, then somebody lying because I done screwed a lot of Muslim chicks. And they took it off. Exactly. I done bust a lot of Muslim chicks, especially when have. I was living down on the avenue. You shouldn't have. Why? Because you're not Muslim. They're a woman, ain't they? Coochie, coochie. You're not Muslim. Okay, so it's cool for a Muslim and to bust a female, but it's not cool and for somebody that's not Muslim and to bust a Muslim chick? Come on, man. Stop. Hold on. First and foremost, I'm not, see, I told you it's a way of life. It's not cool in Islam for you to bust, period. The only time you should have sex is to reproduce. And that's where you lost me at right there. I'm done. Yeah, you know. It's supposed to be like that for every religion. But, but I'm going to ask you this. 
How many times, and I'm going to use your terminology and from last night, how many times have the slave masters pushed that into people's faces oh, but then took the melanated women and had children with them? I guess as many times as you've seen weak individuals. Right. So you can't push one agenda in my face and think I'm going to run with it, especially when, when I know that the same people that's pushing the agenda are the same people, but that's out here doing the same thing that I'm doing. They say, Prophet, they say, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had nine wives. That's well, he also I, had young, I heard 11, had young but I heard 11, too. but I also heard Elijah Muhammad was a pedophile. Yeah, so what's up with that? <laughs> now, to, to be completely honest, since you threw it out there. In most religions, don't you have a man of the clergy that is a pedophile? Facts. Just, just like King James was homosexual. And a pedophile. So I totally agree with, with that part. But saying a female that's a Muslim shouldn't be sleeping with... Man, look, they are flesh. That's what people got to understand. When you but are you born are a flesh, kufa. huh? You are a kufa. I don't know what the hell a kufa is. You are a non-believer. No, no, I'm a believer of I, I'm a believer of God. That's what I am. You so, are a non-believer of who? Of Islam. See, uh, oh, I don't know what like, is. Look, see, that's why people, and I, I, I didn't want to make her look like shit. Pardon me. I Ooh. didn't want to make her or feel belittle anyone on the panel because if you don't know, I really wish you shut up because you don't know. And that's why you get your koofy smack. Because you don't know. <laughs> but, but, but at the same time, one thing I can say is I don't know about the Muslim faith, but the one thing I can say is this right here. Y'all have some good women over there. Just like over on the believer side, it's some good women over here. But at the end of the day, we can't dictate who they deal with. See, this is the this is the part that I'm gonna tie into what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. You know why they good? Because you can't see what they look like, which leaves everything to the imagination. Okay, so now then I'm gonna have to go ahead on you, Emily. No cap, Muslim girls be hairy. I'm gonna have to go ahead with you. What does no cap mean? That means no line. You know the Muslim girls be hairy. I'm just saying. They be what? Hair. You know they have. You know they be hair. Now what's so I'm just gonna keep it a book. Um, fifty percent of your relationship is physical. 20% is mental. 5%, no, the other 20% is financial. And the rest is just where it falls. So if I look at somebody and I'm not attracted to them, what makes you think I'm going to go and date somebody who I can't see? I can't inspect the body part. I can't see. Nah, we ain't doing that no more. And we ain't looking at a person that's wrapped all the way up. And then we'd be like, oh, yo, I'm going to fall in love with you. But then on a honeymoon and she started taking her body parts up. No, nah, I didn't sign up for that. Which, which I'm saying at the end of the day is if I can't test the waters and before I get it, there's no need for me wanting it. Because what if I don't like it? I can't give a rain. I can't have a rain check. Okay. So let me let me let me pose it like this. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Melanie has joined the panel. Melanie has joined the panel. Hey, and she shows what's going her on, face. Mel? Yeah, and she shows her face. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
Bueno, bueno. <risa> So go ahead, Malik. Finish. Can I ask Malik a question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. Listen. Because this is a why learning session for Why y'all did? Me. Why they did Khalid Muhammad like that? He was the truth. Oh, jeez. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. From the next day as well? Yeah. And why they set up Malcolm? <laughs> they, they, they had to kill Malcolm. Mal- Malcolm knew too much. He, he told the truth. But they 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 feared Malcolm. Why would she you fear somebody that's telling the truth though? Because I told you, man, the honorable Elijah Muhammad was really, really. An asshole. What is it? Special. Hello. I Hello. want you guys to. How are you all today? All right. Fine. Um, I'm good. I just, can I say something about this sure. topic, if you all don't mind? Please, I just want to get something off my chest real quick. Sure. Um, this thing about religion and the Muslims and the, the nation of Islam, one thing I know for a fact. The Nation of Islam in Chicago, when you come across their students and their women, they're a little bit different. A lot of things that we do, they don't do. And the rules that are set in place uh, for the Nation of Islam is only to bring structure into the life. And if everybody noticed, uh, a lot of us, our particular community, we don't have structure. And a lot of us are against structure. What the structure does is it guides. It leads as a guide as to how we should be living, how a woman should respect a man, how a woman is not to show her body. You know, now the man that's speaking, I'm not sure about him, but I do know that that is what those uh, rules are set in place for, so that a woman can remain can remain. Uh, untouched until she meets her husband. That's the purpose of those rules. You know, I heard him explaining it, but I didn't hear him giving a reason behind it. Oh, yeah, he gave a reason behind it. Oh, okay. I apologize. I just wanted to hear that. That's all. Yeah, but I got a question, though. Sure. How many women who are Muslim or follow that faith do you believe is truly a virgin? Well, I cannot say, I can't answer that honestly because I don't know what these women are doing in their sex lives or in their private bedroom. But to my understanding, I do know that they are supposed to be. Right. So, you know, right. So, and they're supposed to be life. They supposed to be virgins, right? So let me ask you this. You're a woman. um, Right. If you ain't testing the waters, you ain't going to just jump into something blind, are you? You mean as far as if I'm in a relationship and no. I have sex with a man before I get with him? Is that what yeah. you're saying? All that. Well, I'm a little bit different. You know, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit different because I love a man's mind. I love his mind. And if his mind is right, I can make that sex all right. No. I can, I, no. I can go with that. Oh, but that's no. just me. No, I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm going to keep it a book. If, sure. you can, if you can say that you are a needle in a haystack because I'm going to go here. You ain't going to tell me if you used to get in a nine and you leave that nine alone because he no good and then you get with a dude that's a three and you going to continue to make that work. Uh-uh. <laughs> you, you don't want that nine. I get what you're saying. I, I, I'm not into sex like that. I'm just, I'm just different. I'm not into it like that. Like I said, I know how to make that thing work in many ways. So I'm not like women when it comes down to something like that. Mel, here's my question. Here's my question. I'm glad that you said that because for women that say that they're not into sex like that, 
That's crazy because we're sexual beings. See, so how could you of not course be into we're sexual something? beings, but I like being sexual with my husband, not with different men out here. If it's my husband, then yeah, I'm all for it. But, yeah, but you know, what if you don't got a husband? Just talking about, you know, give me nine inches, ten inches, and hell no, I'm not with that. I like it with my husband. So question, what if you don't have a husband? Then I'm not having it. I'm not having it. it. You know, I'm I'm a little bit. I was raised different. I was raised by men. So you know, you and I don't have to, I don't have to be having random sex out here. It ain't nothing that I ain't never had before. So so you mean to tell me that if you ain't in a relationship, you can go without having a man and masturbating too? I ain't said nothing about masturbating. I ain't said not one word about masturbating. I'm talking about having a man in my face. <laughs> I'm talking about a man, a random man sitting up in my face looking like he think he's going to get something. Like I said, I know how to take care of all that. <laughs> that is no problem. I don't need a man for that. What I need a man for is a husband and, 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 and a freak, you know, a thinker, a good thinker. You can get sex anywhere. True. That's true. You know that, you know that masturbation goes against... The holy book, right? Oh, How well, do I don't, masturb- I'm not into you, our book. Wait, wait, wait. How do masturbation goes against the holy book? All right. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> listen. I'm learning because, because I'm though. trying to figure out something. Dana, listen to me. I'm trying to figure out something. <laughs> now, of, of all people, and as knowledgeable as you are. Because, you know, Dana you- back here want to know. You do realize that the holy book tells you you should not waste your semen. Whose holy book? What Whose holy about book are you speaking? So, okay, you talking about the Bible? So the holy book say you shouldn't waste your semen, right? Oh wow. So watch that this. Me. So watch this. Even if you ain't masturbating, if you up in a chick, right? And you don't want a nut in it, and you pull out. What, what is that? Homeboy, that's a wasted nut. That goes against your oh religion. My God. That goes against the book. Man, look. That ain't a wasted nut to me. Yeah, I might not be ready to take care of baby. So my pull out wow. game just might be that strong. Okay, listen to me. I don't know why your picture flickering, but give me a second. Listen, Something I need y'all to realize it. two things. Sometimes y'all be on point, and sometimes y'all be gasping for asking. Yo, the Bible clearly tells you you should not have sexual intercourse unless you are reproducing. You are not to have false sex. That's you're not to masturbate or none of that. Hold on. That's a waste of ejaculation. Hold on. Hold so on. Malik, let hold me on. ask you this. Hold on, hold on. Hey, so then, let, let me, me ask say you this right quick. Go let go me say one thing. So you telling me my girl got an IUD? And I'm busting all up in there. I'm wasting a nut. That's a wasted oh. nut. Hold on, oh man. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah. I think that's safe sex. I'm cream pie that shit. <laughs> a, a lot of times we take that book a little bit too far. A lot of times we, you know. Oh, I'm, Malik, I'm, a, I'm a. Let me ask you this: Was you a virgin until you got married? Who? You. Dang, that's you talking? <laughs> I know. Wow. I'm just asking the question because it came up in the chat. So Malik was a virgin until he got married. So I just dressed it up and asked you. Hey, okay, Karen. well, well, I, I don't know who in your dumb ass. Pardon me, pardon me. You said don't cuss. To the person in the chat who asked was I a virgin, let me help you out. I come from Baltimore City. In 91, my crew was the head and we had the biggest dope ring in Baltimore. So By the question. time I was 21, I had four threesomes, six cars, and brought out six balls. So question, how many times have you so wasted So if I was a virgin at 21, my nigga was like, yeah, 16. I so think question. I had my first yacht at nine years old. Out there, yeah. So question, uh, how many times have you wasted nut? I don't masturbate. Real nigga shit. Pardon me, pardon me. Wow. But you just but you just said if I sleep with a chick though, it's kind of confusing because I'm like, how I'm is this? How I think see? is this? 
What you just asked me was about a wasted nut and beating off. Now, I'm the first one to tell you. I told you earlier in the conversation, I wasn't trying to hold this conversation because I'm not for no dumbass argument later on. Now, me personally, <laughs> me personally, I know where you're going with that. And Brooke will be like, so what the fuck you mean? <laughs> okay, I, I get you. I get you. See, me personally, I keep my circle small. So that, that whole, um, yeah, that night we was at the joint. With the side bro, and the, the demonstration I ain't had none. I'm gonna tell you all the rip. I'm not. I'm not running in there here with the no rubbers in my pocket. I had cash in my pocket. wasn't enough running for the cash and the rubber. Pettyville said, <laughs> "I'm." De- See, Petty- I keep, keep prefacing to the folks on your panel, and I need and you I'm- to be. I need y'all to really understand it. Yo, if you never got a chance to live that life. Yo, you you didn't miss out on a whole. That's like somebody on the panel next going to ask me how many you hit. Right. Nah, man, ain't nobody going to ask that. We all grown over here. But no, no, somebody going to want to know a body count. What? Somebody, somebody going to want to know a body count. I'm going but look, hey, Gaza, Gaza, thank you so much for having me. Okay, I got to get to the white man's job. I really do. I'm, okay, I'm leaving. Cool, I'm Mel. going to work. Thank all you. Right. I appreciate you having me on. Bye bye. I'm going to pray anytime. We want to thank Melanie for coming to the panel. We want to thank Brooke for coming to the panel. We want to thank Fantasia for coming to the panel. Thank Melanie you know. shook. Melanie was shook pretty Malik, nice. I'm confused, man. Melanie was not ready for that. She wasn't ready for none of that. She's Malik, shook. you got me confused, man. Because now I feel like I'm wasting myself. You know what I'm saying? Dana, she going to call you later on and be like, wait, I wasn't ready. Dana, this man got me confused, man. Look. I don't, listen, I'm trying to get an understanding. So jacking off is wrong. I get it. But if I'm sleeping with a girl and put them pull out, or I sleep it in there, I'm still wasting it. Look, I don't know. I'm gonna say this. I don't think none of it wrong. <laughs> I've been a freak since I was born. So I mean, Jesus said that he loved you just as he had, just like you are. So I mean, shoot. I guess God gotta understand. Look. I'm a freak. So if I can't make it into heaven and because I like to pleasure myself every once in a purple moon, but whenever my girl not around or whenever my girl is not, you know, feeling up to it, then, hey, what am I supposed to do? I supposed to walk around and have blue balls? That's the side chick. No, I, I don't want a side chick. But I got a then, main chick who will, who will mess around and bust my head. Then, then my brother, for you, be the blue balls. Nah, it's called you go get that Vaseline or you go get that lotion. You duck off in the bathroom and you relieve yourself, just like the women. But they get them one or two fingers and them motherfuckers get to working. No. I know some that use three. Damn. And she must she, got a. She, she must, must got a. And she must got an obese click if she used three. Then you must know somebody in the fisting, cause that's that was your fisting. Look, well, how you know? <laughs> whatever you into, man, you into, man. Look, I don't know nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not gonna have me in the dumbass apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been out the house in two and a half months. You gonna have me in an argument? I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> and you gonna call me like that damn Dana? No, don't blame it on me. Be like Brenton, where you at, nigga? I need to stay. I need to put me up for a week. Cause Brooke will surely try to go back. And, you know what? I'm gonna take this live now. Mm-mm. He crazy, man. Hey, look. But I mean, at at this point, yo, when you reach a certain age we look at things from a different aspect. 
and we we start to do things a little bit different. And I get it, you know, to, to me, the side chick ain't the side chick no more. Side chicks start doing too much per social media. Once social media hit, they got, they found the platform to which they figured they was being discreet. Cause you know, for, for all of those who who have had a side chick, or we used to call them mistresses. Everybody know everything. No, you're only a mistress when, when you're married. If you ain't married, you're not a mistress. You you called the mistresses back then. If you ain't married, you're not a mistress. Okay, Impossible. We call them friends, man. Either friends or friends with benefits. Okay, well. Well, in, in honor of Robert, we're gonna call them homie lover friends. Okay. They still they still knew they position. I don't understand. It's not for you to understand, Google. Be quiet. They knew they position and they always maintained their position. All right. Now they don't maintain their position. They do too much. Mm. They want to be everything. And not just be what they're supposed to be. Because now we're in a culture where a side chick no no longer have to accept being a side chick, especially when she wake up and realize that she deserved to be a main chick, and that's all she was being was a side chick for the longest. That's on a side chick that dessert that I'm gonna say this: any female that settles for being a side chick, you get what you deserve. Just like, well, I ain't gonna say that, but just like, yeah, yeah. Well, so you can't come to me talking about, oh, I'm a side chick and giving me the side chick blues when. You are more than qualified of being a main chick, but that's just like a female that's bad as hell being a junkie, and she go get some crap rock, and then she come back and she get clean, and then she come back and be like, "Oh, yo, let's date." No, when I wanted you, you chose to rock, so now I chose not to deal with you. Then I don't know if you're from Baltimore because you on, definitely man. got, you definitely got to. Uh... Come on, man. You got the mean with you under your belt. Oh, that's where we going? You definitely got one or two under your belt. Of course I do. Yeah. Maybe four. Because I, I, can, I can tell you five of the baddest chicks in b who who got hooked on blow real heavy and would and would and would and would hit it off. He got the mean. Yeah. Okay. So let's be clear. Yeah, matter of fact, and your homie won. Mm. Fuck her. Ooh. Excuse my French, but she know Ooh. why. Come on, read. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just in my mouth. <laughs> my man, hey, you don't get no points for that. You crazy. She was once one of the best of the best in Baltimore. You don't get no points. Now. Yeah, I'm. I'm just calling it like like it was, bro. You know I me. Mean? Oh no, I, I definitely heard it was a good time. <laughs> good time. Hmm. I, I'm real sure. I heard it's a good time. Like you know, sometimes you gotta just taste and see that the Lord is good. Um, blood pressure numbers. I'm gonna have to pass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> they systolic over diastolic, definitely hot. I'm just telling you, not, but I mean, but not when I was there. I can say that much. Must have been that burst because the whole past that. No, no, I never got hit up from her, especially when, especially when they was on the BLK. 
I never got hit up with her. No, I'm not saying they passed nothing. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that they, they body count high. Oh, high as a mother. Yeah. If I sit here and say it wasn't, I'd be lying. But shit, who, who body count ain't high in Baltimore? At this time, I like to invoke my fifth amendment right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Who? Shh. If you lived in Baltimore, your body count was high. No, I only said that because I ain't, I ain't, I'm not in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? I ain't if, there. If you frequent at the tunnel, your body count is high. If you frequent at Choices, your body count is high. If you frequent at Twilight, your body count is high. And definitely, if you frequent at Louis Louis and Paradox, your body is high. Hmm. There's no so, way around it. So, Brent, if he <laughs> frequented those spots, right? This nigga stopped talking quick. <laughs> let me let me say, if you frequent Pascal's and Giovanni's, if you frequented Odell's, oh, if you frequented Volcanoes, they wouldn't let me in Volcanoes at first. I was too young. If you frequented uh, the club up on Rice's Town and Hilltop. Uh, what is that? Um, shoot. Uh, up there by the fish spot. I know exactly what you're talking about. If you, have, if you frequented Five Mile House or Corinthians or Windsor Inn in the early 90s. Oh, yeah. Your body count high. If you remember when Reggie Reg was at the All Social Club, I make no mistakes in what I did. If you remember when DJ Booby was working in Mon Diamond and Metro Two, nigga, your body shut up. Count might be high. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> if you remember Booby DJ Booby Sex Track Volume One, your oh. body count is gonna be high. Oh, your body count was already shot through the roof by then. Because if you remember Booby Sex Track Part 1 or 2, for that mean that you got the Sean Marshall treatment. If you ever frequented the Garrison Lounge, your body count might be uh Nah, I'm a virgin. <laughs> yeah. That's when you he become said, a virgin. Yeah. What else if you free with uh, Bobby, Dana, you got your woman hooked on crack like Bobby Brown. Dana, Bobby Brown. Angie, don't say that because they already saying that I was giving females crack rock at the age of 14. And th that I was out there raping people. If so, how many people in this is in B more? Um, I don't know, but I know I'm from Baltimore, Malik from Baltimore, Brooke from Baltimore. EJ said, I'm a full time virgin. Oh, Jesus, I I'm gonna say this, EJ. You Slow down, it's your birthday. Oh, you my inspiration, bro. Because once I got it when I was younger, I couldn't stop. It's like a drug. I must admit. When Onan had sex with Tamar, he withdrew before his orgasm and spilled his seed on the ground. Since any child born would not legally be considered his heir. The next statement in the Bible says that Onan did evil and that God slew him. But God slewed him, Toy, because he did evil, not because he pulled this thing out and ejaculated on the ground. Look. All right, so, so let me clear this up because I knew the comments was going to get silly. I'm not pulling out. I'm definitely busting off inside the 
situation. So, Brent, I feel you on the cream pie. Wait a minute. Here, here we go. Wait a minute. You cannot go back on your word now, Malik. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying, so I'm saying man. Oh, I never told you what I did. Only thing I said was I never tried. I wasn't a kid of the rubber. I ain't a fan of the rubber. That's why I don't play ball like that. Right. I don't. I'm not a fan of the rubber plastic neither. I'm not a fan of that. But if I know I'm going into battle and I got to protect myself, first of all, if I got to feel like I'm going into battle, I ain't even going to do it. If I feel like she could be looming with something, I'm not going to do it. That's why you put your finger in your ear, get the wax, put it inside there. If it burns, then she got something. Ew. Hold up. Put your finger in your ear and stick it in her vagina? Yes, sir. I pass. I don't even want to do it no more. I don't, I don't even want to do it no more. Oh, I like Felicia with a high ratio. I don't even want. I don't even want to. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. You stick your finger in your ear and take wax out and stick it in her vagina. See, Brett. So my thing is, what if she don't flinch or nothing? What what if she immune to it? Then, See, bro, it's, it's, not, it's not because she's single. If it burns, that means she got something, bro. Then that means you're going to stick your mouth down there and because she's immune to it. No, you don't eat everything you just meet. And you don't stick everything you meet neither. You could with a piece of plastic. That's that hatred in you, B. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Intercourse breeds de- breeds feelings, which means you're transferring spirits. I don't want everybody's spirit on me. No, that's that hatred in the mill. Nah, I don't want everybody's spirit on me because some spirits ain't right. Friend, what do you tell him in bad boy to you? The devil not welcome in here. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, Love man. yourself said, I understand EJ going on 10 years since my fiance passed away. I want to say something so bad, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. So, so, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, so uh, okay, I'm not going to do it. Okay. I'm not. Rest I, in peace. I, my, my, my condolences to your loss of your husband. Real talk. My, 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 my prayers go out for that. Loss. Love yourself. So you mean to tell me you ain't even touch it in 10 years either? If she tell me she ain't touch herself or she ain't had nobody, the first person that get that, they, they going to the hospital. Miss Lady T. Dixon said, I'm a virgin. I can't tell. That's Kevin Terrell, old boo. Yeah, that is true. She did used to fuck with him. Exactly. That's and why she, she can't. She was cook heavy on business. Kevin Terrell. She, whoa, she whoa, cook. whoa! Hold on, what I miss? No, no, it's an insider with a dream team. Miss, <laughs> oh, Miss Lady T trying to lie. Out of ten years? No, no, but that's somebody different. And Miss Lady T going, I was never Kevin Terrell's fan, girlfriend. Dana, stop lying. No, I know that's right, Dana. That's why Jesus told the prostitute she had so many husbands because of the people she had slept with. Right. Right. Hey, Dana, that explains a lot. Huh? I said that explains a lot, bro. What you you saying that, she said, no, sir, I work seven days a week. I'm about to throw this stool through a wall. Love yourself. Whatever man gets you, He's going to need all type of CPR situations going on. Ten years, she ain't never touched herself or had no paint. Man, come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She bluffing. What she look like? She the truth. Oh, yeah, she definitely bluffing. I'm going to call a semi-cap on that. Semi-cap. And she said she don't even think about it. Oh, my God. Mm. And she's she gonna be like that lady off a Tyler Perry movie when he come touch her like baby. She, she don't like, think ah! about it at all. 
Hey, Brooke, what she look like? Love yourself, the truth. Love yourself. She the truth. I'm telling you, she, 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 she the truth. I ain't gonna lie to you. And she went 10 years? Well, but, but I can see she was engaged. And her fiance passed away, so she needs time to heal. But hmm. Dana, folks don't realize us men have superpowers. Like I said That's before a- <laughs> earlier, and I believe it, man. Shit, you're gonna make me think I'm a goddamn super saiyan. How you activate she- the superpowers? She went 10 years. That's a bit. Yeah. No modification of sentence, no parole here, no nothing, 10 years. Georgia girl, give me your phone. Georgia girl, give me your phone. Ask Brooke, can she wait 10 years? (laughs) Shall a boy, please. Uh, See, I'm about to get off this thread. So look, I can tell you that me, you, Fat Boy, and Malik have superpowers as well. Hey, I agree with you, EJ. I, I definitely got superpowers. Hold on. Can I can I can I can I answer the question? Oh, um so the longest I've ever went without has been a year, but situations is different. So let's say if God forbid if something happened to you, Malik, and you go away for a minute, I'm not gonna have sex with nobody. I'm content. Like I'm not gonna go. So you're not gonna play with yourself neither? Now that now nigga, that's a different story, nigga. Why gotta be a nigga? Brother. I didn't mean to call you a nigga. <laughs> but I mean, but Not love yourself brother. says she haven't had sex, nor have she played with herself in 10 years. Oh, well, see, I I, I say all that. I just say it not having And I sex, said the but... first man that get her, mm-hmm. and the first man that get her is going to the hospital. I'm gonna see what she look like. She's the truth. I'm telling you. Okay, that, that motherfucker must not be. Must not be snapped on nothing. It's ten years. Ten years. Mm. That's a long time, my nigga. That's a mm. strong black woman right there. Petty Bill said, I, "Hell, I ten days." Is she a probably, <laughs> nigga. She, I mean, I miss a nigga, but she probably and and love me, love yourself. I love you daily, my love. But girl, when you do bust one, baby, you gonna you gonna need to go to the hospital after that, honey. No, that dude that gonna have to go right. to the hospital. Oh. Uh, that dude gonna have to go to the hospital because I swear she gonna been on slap his neck straight. I don't don't know move, you. nigga. He was like, ah, ah, ah. don't move. <laughs> I, I don't mean, even keep the same phone from here to here. Yeah, it is, you it ain't gonna be that, bro. God. It ain't even gonna be that, Dana. That dude gonna be finished in thirty seconds, two, maybe two seconds. Man, as soon as he going, oh my god, I'm done. What? You better stay right there, mother. I mean, yo, she gonna turn it to the lady off of I'm gonna get you sucker. <laughs> Man, I just I'm not playing with him. Lord, 10 day? I meant 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have like matching business? <laughs> Golly, I mean it's just I I just y'all want to have no drink. Hey, Dana, 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 I just wanna do it, do it ever dry up, bro. Ten years? That's a drop. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, Brooke. Yeah. They in the chat talking about sending people toys. What the heck? I got a toy. Ain't nothing wrong with toys. All right, so I got a question. I got a question. Why do you got a toy and you got a husband? How long we been together? 13 years. We been married for nine. Coming up April 25th. It'd be nine years we've been married, right? But the, but the song say ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. So if you got the real things, what you but need a plastic thing for? My husband, no offense, I love you daily husband, but he get old. So he be going to sleep at eight o'clock and shit at nine o'clock. And I'd be like, can you, you wake up? You know what? Nope, yeah. nope, 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 nope. <laughs> 
We ain't gonna have it. So no, nope. you know what? Let me go I'm not gonna have nobody in the doghouse, and I'm not gonna have nobody getting beat up <laughs> on my account. No. That ain't how we operate. Listen, listen, we are not unlike any other couple years. Hey, Dana, no, because, no, because and Malik gonna get up this live and be like, lock the door. So I'm getting old. Shit. I'm, I'm getting old. Call the, call yes, the cop block. Shit. I'm the, the, I'm, the first, the, I'm the first person to tell you it, it's a little different now. Petty Bill said 10 years a bit. <laughs> I ain't trying to prove no points no more. <laughs> All points and shit was proven before. Last time I tried to prove a point, talking with that Remy, I got caught. That's a done deal. Mm-hmm. And you got what? Caught. Hmm. She talked gold cash shit one day. I come prove a point. We come out. We come out the motherfucking club. Five fifths of Remy in, four rows in. I went home. I tried not. I thought Carter was on the way, son. For the EJ, I for the EJ, I, I see what you're saying. Cause EJ, I see what you're saying. Cause now when Malik starts telling the story, oh, you see how he start get, getting the echo and the Super Saiyan talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Malik, are oh, you said five things of Remy? Yeah, we drink, we buy the bar. No, I, 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 matter of fact, and you try. We don't go to the couple sitting in the VIP yeah. section. So, 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 wait, five, five bottles of Remy, and you thought that you was gonna be able to control your ejaculation spirit. <laughs> <laughs> The spirit wasn't I'm trying to be controlled. <laughs> we just had to be club that long, and that was the amount of alcohol that was consumed. You know what? This live done took like 10 turns. Yep. That's why I love I love these type of lives. And they that's be the why butter. I love and, it and over matter of fact, matter of fact, again, I can tell you I can damn near tell you why it happened like that. Nah, never mind. Save no. that. No, no, save, no. Save that for Entrapment Fridays. No, no, no. I ain't try- what you trying to say? Save that for Entrapment Fridays. No, we went to... Ain't nobody trying to check Entrapment. Hold on. We we went to the cross Hold on. True Strong Warrior said she'd been married for 22 years. She was 21 and he was 22 at the time. Those toys kept it interesting. You know what? True Strong Warrior saved that for Entrapment Fridays too. Because yeah, because we're going to talk about some things. We I'm went to no, we went to my little brother. He crossed as Omega, and they had a where copy motherfucking party party. Where copy? Yes, he crossed by, by Omega. Yeah, but the party was that. So that's how I got here. Yeah, as fact. In your phone in a minute, if you give me the year uh, year after, you got a picture of Carter on the market. You got a major echo. Because he got the thing up. I'm gonna hit, let me hit my beat because you probably can hear him talking from we in two different rooms. So let me hit my beat. But yeah, you got a picture of Carter sitting on the yard on the bench. Uh-huh. Wow. I miss it at Coppin, man. I'm one of the reasons why Coppin got a football team. I miss it back home. I got to play the first two years, and then, then I got up out of there. Then I skedaddled out. True Strong, War- True Strong Warrior said the dream team, and Miss Lady T, the dream team, most women do... Most women do have toys. Oh, we're going to say that for Friday. We're going to say that for Friday because I want to have a ladies panel and I'm just going to sit and listen because I want to know because I want to know what's the importance of having a toy when when, when your man's supposed to be the toy because I'm going to keep it 100. That's cheating. 
So if a what man can have you, Dana. Listen, bro, we bro, have been together for so if long. If a man bro. can have a toy, I mean, Listen. if a woman can have a toy, a man can have a side piece. I ain't trying to that's hear. Not, hell che- no, hell no, because cheating guess what? Is cheating. They got fake coochies too. I go buy fake coochies. Look, it's called experimenting. You got to have fun with your mate. Okay? Now, I ain't going to go buy no strap on, but I damn sure go buy a fake mouth or a fake coochie, and we can have fun. Shit. It's about fun. Look, they got this new thing now. My husband showed me this the other day. It's a a, a wireless vibrator, and it's small. It's probably the size of a battery. Not a battery. Maybe like a little, like a bullet. And you can insert Mm. it in the vagina, and then the mate can hit the button and it'll just be like, <laughs> like I used that on the chick a couple of years ago. That shit ain't good. Stop cussing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the one who ain't cussing. Wait, 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 wait. What? What what? You stick a okay. bullet in you the, and, your, and your mate and your mate hit the button. And you go, is it where's it remote control? It's wireless. Yeah. You, put it in, you put it inside the cooch, and then the, the, the person who controls it is the, the opposite sex, your husband or whatever, or your wife or whatever. You can't put it in a man's butt, but you can I'd rather you put it in the coochie. Put it in the coochie, and then once you put it in the coochie, you hit the button to turn it on. And it's yeah, just, they go Danny, they go crazy for that stuff, bro. Why can't you just be the man and then hit them spots you, or yourself? You know what I mean? can do that too, but sometimes it's funny hey. to watch them act, right? Huh? That's when you go get a playmate. Now, I'm Listen, gonna man. Dana, somebody yeah, want me to ask you strange things, man. Help. That's the problem. Women and men has been so engulfed to the point where enough is not even enough no more. They They need more. It's like a gluttony. Who's this misunderstood individual? Who's that? Hold on, y'all. And we got misunderstood individual on the panel. I, I don't know who this is, but yeah. Hopefully, they miss Lady T. Who are you misunderstood individual? Misunderstood individual, who are you? What's going on? Who is this? This is EJ. Okay. All right. Why, why, why you put misunderstood individual instead of putting EJ? I just came up with that name, though. <laughs> Cause, uh, you know, because because sometimes people uh, do have me misunderstood, so that's why I just chose that name. <laughs> that damn EJ. Be quiet, bro. <laughs> that's bro. I'm just saying, I just think that men and women has been getting, has gotten in golf to the point where enough is not enough no more. So therefore, but they want more. So my thing is this: why, why turn to a vibrator when you can get the real thing? But what I no. wait, Brooke, Listen. wait, wait, Brooke. What I have experienced is Thank that you. is that from two thousand and four up until now, a lot of women cannot be satisfied by one man. That's not true. It is true. A lot of women that's tough. That's out there experiencing and doing things now cannot be satisfied by one woman. That is I mean, not true. I mean, by I'm one woman. Say, I don't not think that's true. I'm not even I'm not gonna say that's true, Dana. I'm gonna say that's not true, bro. That's not true. I'm gonna tell you why it's not true. Let me let me start first. I'm gonna tell you why it's not true. Because my husband is right here to verify or deny. <clears throat> we have well when it comes down to our sex like, I'm gonna keep it minimum. I'm not gonna get too graphic. Look, y'all not graphic, from y'all not from the 2004 Arneva. Okay, I understand that, but still at the same time, 
we got here. I don't know how we got here, but we here. But we talk about everything. So, like, let's say one night he be on his bullshit, and I'm like, nigga, you gonna have to make up for last I'm night. I'm cussing. Oh, what you did? I'm cussing, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'd be like, you know, what you did or whatever, like, you got to handle your business because, uh, yeah, like, you need to make up for what you did. Like, we have an open, um, an open and honest up? conversation. Like, let's say he may have had too much to drink and it was only two minutes. So I'm like, no, you going to have to make that up. Why do he got to make it up, though? Yeah, but, like, you can't make up two minutes. Why do we got to make it up? And because it wasn't enough of what you got, right? But that doesn't mean that he doesn't. You are a custom of coming more than one time. Listen, yeah. that has nothing to do with him not being able to please me because guess what? It's called communication. <laughs> if I know what makes me feel good, I'm going to say, put your mouth right there and move your tongue a certain way or I like it like this. Let me put my legs up. I like, like, listen, it's communication. Once I tell my partner how I want it, and it and he goes through with it. I'm good. That's from. Bro, bro, can I ask you a question? If you marry, if, if you marry somebody, and, and matter of fact, and you still gotta teach him how to please you, something no, wrong with both of y'all. Yeah. No, 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 no. Nobody said nobody's teaching nobody at this level. You're not listening. That's what you, you just said. Us. No, no. Bro. I said I told I communicate. We tell each other what we like. So if we've been telling each other what we like. Then why will it, it will be perfect at that point? Because I'm telling him what I like. He's telling me how he like it. Like I know for a fact, can no other woman please my husband like I can? It don't even matter. Can't no bitch. Are you sure about that? I'm 100 percent positive. Bro, bro. Yeah. Can't no woman please your husband. I want to ask you a question. Like you can, right? Correct. So what bro, happened to the woman you. that was there and before you? She ain't here, is she? Evidently not because you might. Okay. okay. Hey, hey bro. I ain't gonna get nobody in the doghouse. I'm, I'm leaving it alone. That's why I hey, say bro. wait till Friday. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, oh, yeah. Dana wants, I mean, Britain wants to talk. Go ahead, Britain. Uh, no, nah, you said like you never had no bad night. No, no, no. I didn't say that. I said. So then why do you have to make it up if you had a bad night? Absolutely. I gotta make it up. I know. All I right. Now, it's good. It's that, but. It's mutual. Shit. If I if I slack and I ain't come through. Yes, true, strong warrior. So is a like bad men. I don't think women have bad nights though. Well, uh, uh, let me tell you what I would consider a bad night for, for me. Let's say if we you know, we were supposed to make sure both of us got relieved at the end of the night, but only I got relieved and I fell asleep. That would be a problem. bad night for me because I didn't fell asleep. You get what I'm saying? That's kind of impossible, bro. How is it impossible if I never make him bust? Hello, and, and I'm you, the only person who usually don't stop until you see, you know, you usually don't stop until you're done. And if he just, I'm done, and he want to go to sleep or something, that's different. But I don't know. That's kind of hard to believe. How is it hard to believe? Because if he, oh if you were a man, like listen, if you were a man, if you were a man, and he don't do, he don't, you know, the extra. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. If you don't do that, then is it is it ever over? I think I think it's over when he finished. Mm, yeah, I understand that part. But here, here's how here's how some things go. Let's say, let's say that, like I said, a string, you know, let's say the let's let's talk about the mouthpiece. Let's say we was doing it all right. And let's say I just was like, oh my God, my mouth hurts. Can I, you know, I don't feel like it. I'm tired. Well, you better use your hand. <laughs> Even if I had to use my hand, that's still me having to make up because I'm like, damn, man, I usually be giving you that bomb. Now, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to make it up to you. And then you make it up the next time. You just put extra work in. Nah, I don't believe in that. Well, well, hey, listen. You believe in what you believe. I believe what I believe. I know this. I don't have no complaints. Friday is going to be off the chain. The chain. Because we're going to talk about a little bit of everything. Friday going to be off the chain for Entrapment Fridays. That's going to be the return of Entrapment Fridays. And and I'm going to keep it 100. I mean, I stand on what I said. I just called my uncle and then 
he gave me a whole different terminology. And uh, my uncle said, plain and simple, that all women have not been turned out. So, so, so you can't make a broad statement as saying all women fr from the 2004 up until now era can't be pleased by one man. And then he flipped it on me and said, oh, men got to take a, men, men have to take accountability that for that we did a lot of damage. So so Friday, I'm going to have him on because y'all going to have me and him go at it. Hold on. That's why I also go by the name Tanya the Stripper. Angie, well, give me your damn phone. <laughs> Angie Walker, Angie. like 75 years old, talking about she a stripper. Oh, no, you didn't play with my angel like that. Okay. <laughs> now, I didn't listen to all sides of the story. Angie gonna cuss me out, watch. <laughs> I want you to I want you to be mindful of a few things. Okay. Brent, Dana. Okay. As you get older, different shit stroke your boat. Right, and I'll tell you, I've had a foot fetish since I was a kid. That's my shit. Like, stop cussing. Okay, I'll bang a chick with no body and pretty feet versus a bad chick with a bad body and ugly feet. So, let so me ask you this: Do, do, do you suck souls? Yeah. Okay. He fucked everything. Hey, Brooke, I didn't need you to co-sign. But again, <laughs> you talking to a person who's comfortable with his situation. Right. So a lot of times the male ego kind of gets you caught up because at 40, the things you did at 25 you're not doing that for you. That's not true. Okay. I'm still Spider-Man. <laughs> and I'm Goku. <laughs> I, I'm still Spider-Man. And, and, and I'm and still right doing there, everything I did at 20, I'm doing now. And, and right there leads me to believe that there was no growth. Because I wasn't speaking on one particular topic. I know what you're talking about. But I'm talking about totally. No, no. I wasn't speaking on no particular topic. Okay, okay. See, I thought you was talking about and see, our last if you topic. Was doing okay. this, but see, since you want to jump out there, if you was doing the same ish, dude with the baby would be a story by now. Who? The dude with the baby. Baby Bob, what's the nigga? What the dude name? The supper nigga. Oh, okay. See, he would be a story. Because at well, 25, it wouldn't have got this far. Right. Okay. Are oh, you talking about something totally different? See, I'm talking no, about something I, else. I'm saying, period, overall, what yeah. you did at 25, yeah, you, you right. got to do that for you. Right. You're right. Because you're, right. you're absolutely right. He definitely would have been a story right by now. You're right. Because at this particular juncture, you move different. Right. You're right. Even, even down to in the morning, if you used to kiss baby girl goodbye in the morning, it's one or two mornings you forget. Not that that don't mean you don't love her the same. It's just your mind was elsewhere. Right. So when you look at the grand scheme, it's some things now that you see in baby girl that you didn't see five years ago. And Demetrius yeah. Elliott said, Claudia Jordan is, is a bad chick with a bad body, but some effed up toes. And you know what? I've been on three sets with Claudia Jordan and I never looked at her feet. Who's that? Claudia. Claudia Jordan. She a radio personality. She used to be on Housewives. She got right. her own show now called Claudia Jordan. Mm -hmm. Wait, but oh, but she also got an album out or had an album out. Get your Holly Berry joints bind up. Nah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Holly Berry got some pretty feet, bro. Holly Joy bind. Holly Holly Berry joints bind up. Tisha Campbell joints banged up. Um, well, Tisha Campbell was. No, oh, Tisha Campbell let herself go. Mm -mm. Your girl, I even tell you one better. Um, 
Your main chick got banged up feet, and I love her to death. Who? The Wayne Wade wife. Her joints banged up bad. Oh, Gabriel? Yeah. No, Gabriel is the different. <laughs> her joints banged up. Hold on. Angela Bassett joints banged up, but she old. He said Gabriel's the devil? Yeah, I agree with that. How can y'all agree with Gabriel she, Union being the devil? I know why they saying that. No, she, she, no, uh, no, she, uh, she set them dudes out. She set them out. Man. She licked booty. That's the way, and, way I did. Whoa, whoa. And she, um, yeah, she ate, she ate him at his backside. And she had that man. So with his wait, so what's wrong with getting? Get, get, wait, 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 wait. So what's wrong with getting? Get, get, wait, wait. What's wrong with getting your booty ate? Cause ain't no straight way, no straight way to do it. That shit don't work like do it. I'm just asking a question. Dana, you don't like your ass lick. No, I'm asking a question. Hell no. I can't ask a question. Hell no, nigga. You like your ass lick. No, I don't. Stop cussing, bro. Stop cussing. Every man, every man. Listen, listen, bro. Listen, bro. It's some men that like getting their booty ate. It's some women, but I like eating booty. Okay, but what straight way is it to do it? What straight way? Like, do you lay with your stomach? Do you bend over? Do you put your legs in the sky? I don't know. You, one leg oh, you can't hot, ask hot. me that question, and because I don't like it to happen. That's just like, but that's just like when a man and can tell a woman, I can teach you how to suck penis. How? Hmm. How can you teach a man how to suck a penis unless you suck one? Fuck no. EJ said, so how you put the position that you lift your legs up in the air or you turn around? What is the ass licking position? Uh, I don't don't know how you'll do it. Because some niggas somebody want to get stuff on the back. I'm like, nah, bro. You sure. They they going to find their back. Some people. I didn't say that, bro. Some people man long enough to get stuff on the back. So, I mean, mean, hey. So, so you want your girl nose and your booty. So Man, you, look, your face won't be all up in the booty. Yeah, <laughs> just that's a new level shit. I'm not on that, bro. Look, sex is undefiable. Let me go see these comments. So, so whatever you way you want say? your sex to be, that's the way you're gonna have it to be. Man, is it true what they say? So, can, what? Is it true what they say? If it go further than the pinky, it's gay. No, have mercy. What? Man, you better not well, even touch my what? ass, bro. I was getting ready to ask you this question. So I need everybody to answer this question on the panel. Do y'all believe that if a man and a woman participate in penetrating a man with a dildo or a finger, is that considered gay for a man? Yeah. That's gay as hell. Yeah. That's yeah. gay as hell. Bro, you asking the question, everybody know that's gay. Well, no, because some people say it ain't. That's why I asked. Because I, I heard this topic on somebody else's channel and they was talking about it. And there's a lot of people who um, was like, no, if a man get a dildo put in him, or even a pinky, or I even a finger. nail, that's gay. Yeah. If you wait, 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 but there is an exception. If you get okay. in a colonoscopy <laughs> or a colon check, I'm gonna tell you, strap me down, cause yo, if you even touch my butt cheek, is a problem. Dana, I'm telling you right now, I'm going out with it. Somebody got a born iPhone. Who was that? That was mine. You heard me, Dana? What? I'm just going out with it. I ain't going to know. Man, look, bro. Strap me down when I go get my colon check, bro. Dana, wait, then think you about it. my bro. butt, I'm going to flinch. Dana, think about this, though. Would you rather, <laughs> would you rather your gonna first time? I'm going to lock my booty, bro. No, nah, man. I'm Dana, Dana, would you rather oh, your shit. first time be with a woman well, I'm or a man? <laughs> what? Would you rather your first time be the woman or a man? You know, let's, let's, let's really get into it. one, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Listen, you say you talking about the colon checking your colon. You, man, it might get a man doctor. Look, you put that glove on you and shit, bro. Look, look, you gonna be mounted and shit, bro. That shit look, good as hell, bro. Look, look, look. When, when I go to the hospital to get my colon checked. Hold on, Brittany. What, 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 no what, what if his hand is big? What if his What if his hand bigger than mine, Dana? What I supposed to do about what? that? What? What if you know? You know, what? man. Look, what it's horrifying, bro. Hey, Brittany, you all right? Nah, hey. bro. Cause that shit's scary. Hey. You talking about going to the Brent, doctor to bend Brent, over Brent, to a man to put his finger on you? This whole conversation, my guy. 
You know the Paul, the Paul conversation. Yo, this. Yeah, and then Pettyville talking about Dana. What about butt plugs? What? Right. Hey Dana, what about the um when they suck? They put the little tube up your booty to suck some of the um shit up out of it. What they call it? Ew. There's some gummies. Now, that's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now look, now you just took it to another level, now, nigga. No, I because some people that. be awake. They be putting that tube in their booty and they be awake. So I know they feel. Cause it don't hurt. How did, I mean, hold on, wait, 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 wait. It was a small wait. tube. Nah, hold on. Any... <laughs> but <you> don't... <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. You talking about that don't hurt? Okay, let somebody put a tube and run that sh- that thing all the way up your spine or some shit. Man. You know Love yourself, said my dad had prostate. He told the doctor, "Shit comes out, <laughs> nothing go in." <laughs> Lord have mercy. Her dad, her dad, cool as fuck. Then I agree with him. But I'm gonna say this: well, nine times out of ten, nowadays they putting y'all to sleep temporarily to do the colonoscopy. Brenton, so. so Brenton, so you never ate a girl booty? I don't talk about my bedroom business on the internet. <laughs> Yo, this nigga, I fuck with Brenton. Brenton, that's my motherfucking whole boy, man. For eat bad, all I'm Listen, gonna say bro. is. I have, you know, my arms got weak and I fell down a little bit further. That's all I'm going to say. Facts. Facts. Sometimes and your nose just slip all, all the way down. That's all. Yeah, you know, when she on your face and she sit, she's squatting over your face, sometimes her grinding motion just go a little bit too far down. Right. Just like, I ain't going to front. Last time I was in Baltimore and my homegirl, sh- I mean, she shut the whole market down because we're in line. And she was buying pads, so the so I got a little cash here. She she was a little young, and she was like, "Oh, somebody ain't gonna have no fun tonight." And my homegirl was like, "Oh, I do got butthole," and everybody yeah. stopped and was like, "Huh?" <laughs> I I just bust wow. out laughing and kept going. Like, now, oh, that that's is. the one thing that I'll play about. I am still a virgin in my ass, and my husband can confirm I have not had anal sex. And now here's the kicker. Uh, Let me tell you how petty he is. We talked about it, right? And I was like, <laughs> look, I was like, when we get married, we was going to do it, right? Nigga, we got married nine years ago. He was like, we married now. I said, oh, uh-huh. hey. So what are you scared yeah. for? First of all, if it feel anything, like how your stomach hurts and you got to push it out, feel, I'm not, that ain't no good feeling. I ain't fucking with that. So who said it feel like that? I say, if it feel anything like that, but guess but what? if you I'm never, but, but if you water. never tried it, you, you don't know how I feel. Listen, I'm not putting nothing in my anal hole that's more than eight inches in in my ass. I mean, my butt. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not I doing mean, that. Try and see, and you never know. No, you try to see and tell me I how said, you feel. I heard it. That's I a negative. I'm a man, not a woman. Hey, okay, well, so what? What's the difference? Dana. Ain't no damn difference. I have a vagina. That is where a penis is supposed to go. Is In it? the vagina. Yes. Well, you got yes. three holes, so it can go anywhere. It, no, it's supposed to go <laughs> in the goddamn vagina. Not uh, in an asshole. Not this whole live away. Because Brooke is going to cuss our little head off. Sorry. No look, cap. You, you Brooke, good, no bro. Cap. You good, bro. They only look at it the first 15 minutes. And then and the rest of it, they hey, use it. Dana, huh? Huh? you ever been with a big chick and you put your dick between the uh, underarms and start going at it? Nah, I ain't never know. Nah, that's too much. Like that's just like a stink. <laughs> nah, she was clean, Dana. She was clean. You putting your dick in a chick underarms? <laughs> Bro, you got to try these things. Pettyville said, sign on my backside, say, do not enter, exit only. Exactly. Thank you. Well, look, I know some chicks that got. Tramp stamps, but it says slippery when wet, and it point down to that butt. Oh, okay, well that's them. I'm gonna keep it real. I know some females who who butthole is better than their vagina. Ew! Now you know what? Throw the whole female away. Not hey, because you never, Dana. I you mean, told the truth on strokes. that, sir. What? You told the truth, away. Dana. You told the truth. I'm keeping it facts. When they got a vagina. When they got a mask, you know what I mean? But I keep it facts. <laughs> I think, I think, <laughs> Brooke, I think, book. if you already promised and Malik, I, I think if you promised and Malik a session, I, I, I think you need to give it to him. It's been nine years. 
<laughs> you owe that man. Like you said, you remember you said earlier, you, you, you owe back. him that. You remember you said earlier, you said you're gonna pay him back, right? And pay that man back. You done opened your mouth, so now you gotta pay him back because you owe him that. One thing for sure, two things for certain. Don't even worry about it. He ain't been complaining because this yaya is the yaya mean. Okay, trust I, and believe. I mean, hey, but but you owe him that beef and broccoli. And long as I don't owe him, he ain't <laughs> <never been there. laughs> y'all ain't shit. <laughs> I'm trying to stir up some shit. <laughs> to now, now you ain't stirring the pot. <laughs> Kern J <laughs> said, right, Brooke, give him the treat. Nope. You ain't clapping okay. cheeks, bro. Give him the treat. I, I respectfully decline. <laughs> Pettyville said, Willie, I'll catch a case on that one. Damn. We no, got to, I mean, I mean, Angie Walker said, that. we got to keep up with these young IG thoughts. No, we, we got, got to make it clap. Look Facts, back Angie. at it and lick, Facts, out, and lick our tongue out. Laugh out loud. Yeah. That, but that's true, Angie. Because well, if it's born, because if it's born, folks going to be on to the next one. They got to keep up well, with Brittany Jones, baby. Born. I ain't never born, so that part I ain't worried about but, at all. But I broke. But you yeah. marry Emma Leak and you have an empty promise out there. So that means you gotta fulfill that promise. This this for JJ so good, he be forgetting about it. It's he not about you for JJ. You have an open promise. Shut up. It's this act like you ain't never hear it. Oh no, I heard it. Oh no, everybody heard it. And I wrote it down in my diary. Damn. Jesus. Wifey forever <laughs> said Brooke is the bomb. Try it. Thank you, wifey. No, Brooke, it's the bomb. Try it. Oh, no, no, wifey. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm telling you what it is. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wifey. Wifey forever. Is your daughter's anywhere around? Because if it's around, then I'm going to go ahead and curb that conversation. Yeah. That's I'm messed up, bro. You, Brooke, you have an open fulfillment. You stuck your foot in your mouth. Look, you made promises, bro. Because he really, he's really... The, he's really plotting on this, and no. Hey Malik, hey Malik, right is right and wrong is wrong. Y'all been married nine years. Hey it's Malik, a, it's an open promise. Malik, make sure she take an enema. Oh shit! No, I have mercy. Hey Brooke, hey, hey, Brooke, I'm gonna I tell you. Down, man. <laughs> My daughter, Mama, just texted me and said, "I'm looking at your live, and your live is crazy." I know you ain't gonna do Brooke like this, but tell her don't knock it until you try it. Just be relaxed. <laughs> Relax your muscles. <laughs> you know, Hell no. Just be relaxed. <laughs> I mean, hey. Baby mama, baby mama, sis, ain't gonna happen. I'm look, sorry. Look, but that's all you gotta do <laughs> is fulfill your promise. Relax your mind. So when you go to Vegas, and what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. Let it all out. You know what I mean? I might. I'll, I'll see what I can do. So if you want to ride it from the back, I mean, do what you do. But oh, you got to fulfill that promise. That's you have to fulfill that promise, Brooke. One thing we don't do is lie about promises. You got to fulfill oh. that promise. Mm -hmm. Anything else? So Malik, <laughs> Malik is doing dishes right now. So I'm going to tell you, let, let, let her get ultra drunk and you go for I'll Brooke. drink. That ain't going to happen. Since when you don't drink, Brooke? Uh, Malik, please tell him. Since, since when you don't drink, Brooke? Since April of 2015, I do not drink. Okay. He can tell you, Malik, can you confirm or deny do I drink or no? Well, she ain't never really drink, but no, she don't drink for real. She ain't never really what? Drink. Drink. Oh. Who the fuck is this calling from Switzerland? Hey, Brooke, is that the story that you want him to know about? No, no, no. I used to drink a little bit before a little I got bit. pregnant. Correct. I used to, you know, listen, anytime, every time. A I little bit. Drink, a little bit. I a that was why I stopped drinking because the last episode was too. It was it was a shitty mess. So I don't drink no more. A little bit. Okay. I promise you, I don't drink no more like that. I used to get wasted on Monday night. Oh, trust me, I know. Night. 
You know what I mean? Not no more. I stopped. I'm a, six years in. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm a virgin. <laughs> you are a uh... They don't. They ain't throwing them back like that. Look, I just started smoking weed. Shit, I'm already getting ready quick. Why you started so late? I don't know because I never knew that it would be able to help me with managing, not managing, but like my head used to be all everywhere. Like, man, I'd be doing 10 things at one time. Oh, I'm going up, so. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Woo. All right, there we go. Um. Hello. Yeah. So, like I was saying, my bad. Um. Miss Lady T. Dixon, how you gonna tell me I'm not a virgin? She uh-huh. ain't a virgin. She shouldn't even be talking. <laughs> See, Miss Lady T. Dixon, and you trying to jump out though? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna tell you when I first met you where you was at. Man, go ahead and tell it, man. Because I know it went in no kitchen. How she was at that meet and greet telling some, hey, Daddy, Kevin Terrell over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. man. Oh, what? man. And the way like, you was following him around that damn club. Why she try to act like she didn't know how tall you was? Who? Miss Lady T. Dixon. She knows she came to my waist. Right, but I remember having a conversation with her. And because a lot of people ain't know you was that tall. Somebody had mentioned it. I'm not tall. I'm, I'm short. I could have told you that Dana was tall. Dana is tall. I'm a midget. I'm short. Sure. You know, damn midget. You tall. But she ain't say nothing about it. I was like, dang, you seen him. You could have confirmed or denied that. You know, he tall. She was like, uh oh, oh, Dana, Dana, Jake. That's like, that's your boo, though. Now, Miss Lady T, my homie. That's my homegirl. No disrespect to Autumn. No disrespect to Autumn. Yeah, that's his friend, man. That's his friend. That's my homegirl. Miss Lady T wants, Miss Lady T is in love with Dana, Jake. Yo, don't, don't. But it's on a different kind of level. She is their friend. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. This concludes this live. I'm just messing. Y'all know I'm just messing. They had me in a doghouse and I ain't even say shit. I'm I'm playing Autumn because we know girl. Mm -hmm. But they had me in a doghouse and I ain't even say shit. Like, yee. I don't want you to be in a doghouse, bro. Even though you threw me in a doghouse. I don't know what you're talking about. I played the fifth. Yes, you did. You just now told this man, my husband, you need to go to me. Brooke don't want to pay that debt, bro. Brooke don't want to pay that debt. She don't want to pay that debt. Brooke, Brooke, you said it out your mouth. You said, oh, I promised him that he was going to get it when we got married. That was nine years ago. It's time for you to fulfill that promise. If you would have never said nothing, I would have never said nothing. You right. Well, act like Only I ain't. Like so I it's time know. for you to hold it down and spread them open. <laughs> but some wide open that she tell me break it back. <laughs> you know what I mean? So oh, sad, but that's not my fault. Law, have mercy. I ain't, I ain't fucking with y'all tonight. Today, it's Monday. Man, look, look, look. You know what you got to do. It's up to you. You know what you so, got to do. When was the last time anybody had some, uh, released some endorphins? When was the last time y'all had SCS? That ain't nothing to be What? Be grown. <laughs> we ain't no children on here. So, so, when was the last time you got your can answer that question. Y'all must ain't getting it on a regular. No, my girl. I don't need yeah, so to I get it on that question. What? Up, oh, up, oh, here, 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 here we go. I, knew I can't answer that. Y'all, I got y'all on speakerphone. I don't want right. to tell it what I don't want to tell it wasn't her. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't 
you go first. Just um, um, I'll call y'all back. You know, my daughter about to call. That means I got to do homework with my daughter. So, so look, enjoy yourself. Don't forget Wednesday. We coming back again live. So the way my schedule is going to be over here is Wednesday. I mean, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. Tuesday and Thursday on my um, Talk Your Spit channel. And in between, when I just want to let off some steam, it's going to be on my uh, uh, Corners channel. And I got another backup page just in case I want to just act totally stupid. Brooke, save that question for Friday. I will okay. answer it all. Okay. Um, but when is yeah. Friday? Exploitation day? No, nah, Entrapment Friday. Entrapment. Okay. All right. Because gotcha. I mean, because I'm going to ask the ladies some real questions, like questions that men scared to ask. Oh. I, I hope y'all ladies got questions for us men. I asked enough. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Love yourself. But look, thank you, Willie. Look, y'all be blessed, man. Y'all keep God yeah. first in everything awesome you do. Love, bro. Don't forget. Awesome Bye, y'all. Don't forget. God.